Hello, hello, everybody. The shadows make me look like an eldritch monster. But hello, everybody. We are continuing our adventures here in Mass Effect 3. Try. 2 plus 1. And we are going to go and do many things. I really wish they still had the, oh, mission, and then kind of like not mission, but still mission set up from Mass Effect 1 because... Oh, hey, I found a thing in a mission that I can give to somebody that shouldn't be along with... Cerberus is attacking people! Mm! Or, you know, there's a frickin' bomb gonna blow us all... Uh, blow up all of Tachanka. you think there would be, like, more to things. Also, I want you to see my reputation. I wish I could get, like, also nine level-up points. When did I get nine level-up points? But still, it would be nice if I could be like, hmm, how close am I to next level of uh, reputation? Eom. Because it seems I am one, two, three, four, five. So these are in increments of 20. So I am, should be 60% Paragon. Well, or reputation filled and then that much Paragon. Slightly Renegade. Ever so slightly Renegade. And I guess I'll level up my sticky grenade. Increase grenade capacity, maybe. Damage to armored targets. Hmm, that seems nice. That seems delightful. I keep forgetting that I have sabotage. I've been, <laughs> mainly because whenever I want to use sabotage, it's like, oh yeah, you can't do that, it's inadvisable. Don't worry, Edie. Once the Krogan are gone, we'll get rid of the smell. While this body has olfactory sensors, I do not have positive or negative associations with any specific scent. Interesting. Oh. Well, lucky you. <laughs> you gotta love the Turian. After they beat you down and sterilize you, they strap a big old bomb to your planet. You know, just in case you get uppity again someday. I'm just glad we disarmed it. Yeah. Damn right. The Krogan are pretty tough. I'd rather it be Reaper asses getting kicked and not ours. What's new, Edie? Admiral Anderson reports that the Reapers on Earth are broadcasting orders. Huh. They are demanding human leaders enter their superstructures in order to <laughs> negotiate peace. Anybody aboard a Reaper is going to be indoctrinated. Yep. Exactly. This is a ruse to pacify the populace during that process. Citizens who are busy waiting are not busy fighting. It is likely that the governments of Earth will soon enact laws punishing those who attack the Reaper occupiers. Again, huh. this will be done in the name of peace. Tell Anderson we're moving as fast as we can. That's... <laughs> it's just like, oh, come to negotiate peace, you know. We just invaded you, bombed you, all this horrible, horrible stuff. But, yeah, sure, come for peace. I heard what Victor's did. He was a brave man. I don't think I could... <laughs> there I go again. I was going to say that I could never do that. But... Being here, watching you, you've shown me what it means to serve in the Alliance. You're a good officer, trainer. Glad you finally realize it. Thanks. But not that I'm volunteering <laughs> for bomb job duty. I'd suggest sending someone who has armor first, if possible. Hold faith in yourself. After all, you caught the... I do believe you're the one that caught the... Diddy D, the... Sig the... Bobbity Bop signature that... Was, uh led us to the Grissom Academy mission. Let's see, I just want to make sure. DLC, we'll do that before diddly. Can't do that yet, I think, because I don't think we have access to a rune. Citadel, Citadel, Omega, that we'll do later. Party to Chanka. Priority makes it seem like, oh, you want to do this, huh? But at the same time, that feels like it's a very bigly thing. Cerberus attack, Cerberus abductions. All right. We'll do the Cerberus attack and then Cerberus abductions. Head back to the Citadel. Hand off the various schematic things we found. And I'll just go see if I can talk to Morden and Eve. Because I don't know. This, this game's going to kill somebody. There's no way that I can get everybody out. Maybe with Shepard. Eve ready for travel to Tuchanka. The Shroud. What can you tell me about the Shroud? 
climate regulator. Counteracts radiation damage to Tuchanka's atmosphere from nuclear war. Particles emitted from main tower form layer that mitigates ultraviolet bombardment, prevents atmospheric escape of necessary elements. It was Solarian work? And your people put it up? Yes, when uplift process began. Demonstration of goodwill to Krogan, stabilize climate, impress population. Combined with technological gifts, easy to gain Krogan support against Rachni. Krogan immunity. Have you determined why she's immune? Genophage targeted oh, yeah, I already did that. during pregnancy. Her immunity, totally different. Talk also explains her weakness. Gland substitution, imperfect. Health trouble. We'll be here if you're continuing to study Shroud in the meantime. Yeah, it's just reassign power bonuses. Reassign powers. Something else, Commander? I just wanted to see if you had anything else to say. That's all. It's my pleasure, Commander. I guess is, uh... Where's Chuck was? Where's Dr. Chuck was? Because normally she was sitting there, and I'm fairly certain that we grabbed her. Or maybe my brain's fried. Have we found any new engineers for the crucible? Intel from Battle Octorius. Industries scientists who attempted to reverse engineer Prothean technology stolen from planet Garbuck. They are technically still wanted by the Council for hiding Prothean technology. As well, Sonax's part in instigating an illegal war on Garvak. I'm sure the Council will forgive that for helping with the Crucible. Extend those scientists amnesty and an invitation. Right away. Security almost opened fire on the Rachni when their ships pulled up to the Crucible, Admiral. I had to invoke your name more than once before they were left let on board. They're following instructions, but my god, do I have to tell you how nervous everyone on the project is to see Rachni strutting around the halls? They almost gave Dr. Professor Lau a fit. I'll tell you how, uh, I'll let you know how our next staff meeting goes. Audio log, Grunt addresses new Arlock Company recruits. Still don't understand why they put a tank grown freak in charge of old company. <laughs> and I don't understand why they gave me whining pie jacks for soldiers. I have more years on the battlefield than you have kills, Runt. Trying to mate with Solarian females doesn't count as fighting. Someone help him up, move him to <laughs> We move in an hour. Glad to know that Grunt's still going strong. Greetings, Commander. I was leaving. It feels like you are kicking me on the way out. That is very rude. Alright, I guess we'll go to the shuttle bay, check stores for anything interesting, new. Hey, Esteban, for your shuttle being so stealthy and all, you sure do get shot at us. Why can't I listen well, to the them? Well, the UT-47A stealth systems only internalize heat and high band emissions. So while few sensors can pick us up, our cover is blown as soon as someone looks up. Time for an upgrade. Most scanners and tracking systems don't operate in mid-range frequencies. Sure, maybe we've been shot at, but we haven't been shot down. Yet. Lucky for us, you're almost as good a pilot as you think you are. Well, yeah. There's that, too. Recharge speed. I already have decent recharge speed. Getting good by you, but no. Let's see. Pistol, shotgun. Kind of weird that it defaults to down here for some reason. Metagel upgrades. Anything else? No, just capacity. And I don't really use it that much. Canala. Spots. I mean, I did buy the VI, so I could buy fish. That, like, VI thingamajig that regulates my shit. I wonder how everyone's like, Commander, why are you buying model ships while we're at war? Because I'm going to indulge in my hobby because I can die any day now. Alright. Not the Shroud facility. We're going Cerberus attack. Come along, team. Without Tally. Uh, my girl, I have to have a different tech. 
enthusiast help us along our way. Let's take a quick look at what you... Less damage. A bit more damage. I'll give you this. Because I don't think you care about capacity. I have to come back to mine and make sure I didn't <laughs> you didn't steal any of my things. Good, good. Let's -a go. Hmm. Four. I don't think I can level up overload with that. Nope. And I don't care about the fence matrix or decoy all that much. Six. Hmm. Let's have a increase force and damage to frozen targets. I never freeze. Recharge time, sure. Let's go! We're gonna Kill more Cerberus, fuckers. Cerberus is landing forces away from the Tachunka battlefields. Their target seems to be an ancient ground-to-space cannon facility that hasn't been used since the Krogan rebellions. A thousand years old. There's no obvious military advantage, and the Krogan are spread too thin to deal with it. Do we know what Cerberus is up to? Bad. No, but we do know that Cerberus doesn't act without a plan. Get in there, I don't know, they're pissing me off, and they don't seem to have a plan. Just don't get shot. All right. Let's find the control room for those cannons. Kill them. Anything in our way. Sounds simple enough. I'm going to be careful and on the lookout for any pick up -ables. For a moment, it's just like, why is that data pad? Boop. Commander, I have a visual on an inbound servers cruiser. The cannon fire is clearing the way. If that ship makes it to bombardment range, the Kroger resistance is in trouble. Just looking for anything that looks like it can be picked up. I love my one-shot rifle. Come on, this looks like a thing that can be a thing. Why can thing not be thing? How dare. Hopefully this isn't timed. Huh. There's a ladder. Die. That was an order to you, too. Ah. I think I shot his shoulder and his head blew up. Looking around here, just in case. Alright, there's a turret that I'll take out. Because that can do a lot of damage to my people. Fall back to the control room. Send all the reinforcements that you want. Kill you all. I'll kill you all. Every last one of you. Eaten. By me. By me. Control center secure. Then I think it's time to test this cannon. Hold grid command. Kind of I expected to find. One second. Because yeah, this is a small. A small level, so I assume that the moment we get our prerequisite 2013, uh, Dibbly Dop. They cut power to the console. Damn you. Let's move. They're shuttling in reinforcements, fortifying their position. You sound very worried. Which please? I am Commander Shep. Damn 
I'm the alleged to kill. Why? Because I say so. Is that an assassin? Or a robot? New Lokis? Fine, I'll use my... Kind of weird, we have to shoot the thing we need to fix. I've rerouted the power to the main console. Heading back now. Go to hell, more like. Get down! Damn it! Why can't I save? to shoot manually. Direct starboard hit, Commander. Target breaking up. Repeat. Direct hit. That's a beautiful sight. All right. Good work, everyone. I wanted to shoot it. The one time that I'd be happy to have a turret section. Shepard, with those Krogan cannons operational, Cerberus has actually given us the advantage in that system. The enemy's pulling back, but we think they'll try to seize the facility again. Seems likely. I'm sending an alliance team to keep it secure. They've got a foothold in a Hopefully the Krogan position, won't mind. Thanks to you. Glad to hear it. Good work, Commander. Hack it out. Heck you, Serbies. Huh, <laughs> Krogan First Division. We're coming along so well and nothing horrible horrible has happened. It's actually kind of interesting to have Rex back on board, but not as a companion. But I guess we can't go sending the... I like the little checkpoint guards. Alright. But now, no, we're not going to do that. We are going to... Let me check and see. My fuel. My fuel is good. We are going to go to Binning to fuck up th those bitches. The Cerberus bastards now. And then after that, we'll head to the Citadel and drop whatever secondary things we've got off. Octura Station. Oh, yeah, and then there's that off we go Cerberus abductions and we'll hopefully be able to find evidence of the guy's son I hope that wouldn't have been a timed thing like oh if you get to Benning fast enough you'll be able to save the son from being killed or abducted let's go Got four points, four points, and one points. Can I spend anything with four points that I care about? I've maxed out everything. I don't really care about cryo ammo. What's good of cryo ammo? Flash, fleas, and shatter. Hmm. I guess I'll look into sabotage. Increase duration or damage taken when enemy weapons overheat. Hmm. Just an extra five seconds doesn't seem that good. Especially considering my recharge speed is under four, so I'll just go with backfire. Spam that ability! Spam it! In their face! Shepard, server strike squads have infiltrated one of the major cities on Benning. Initial reports indicated they were recruiting civilians, but further investigations suggest that the people are being taken against their will. 
Why are you 140p, Hackett? Or both. As in, rogue faction. You know, just like how Subject Zero stuff with Jack was uh, rogue. Let's go fuck some people up. Surface forces are pinning them down. You better hurry. On my way. Keep me updated. Roger that. Well, damn it. This looks like a place that would have things. Like hidden about. Usability. Usability. Seriously, what is wrong with Cerberus? Because, you know, killing humans is totally going to help humanity. There has to be some pick upables, and there's like way too many civilian buildings here. Be careful, Nemo, if you can read this, stay away from the taxi stand. That place is crawling with Cerberus soldiers. To anyone reading this, don't trust Cerberus. They're taking people against their will. Just run, run. Damn right, you run, you little bastard. They knew where they were coming from. I didn't even hit you, and yet I hit you. Want to know why? Because fuck you. Why do they care about killing civilians so much? Again, my idea that Cerberus has been infiltrated by... A Reaper, or at least the Elusive Man, is, like, becoming all the more likely, man. There are just way too many of these bastards going bad.
Imagine getting burnt alive by your own sentry. Well, that was a bunch of rubber banding chaos. Damn right. Again, what's the point of coming here and being like, oh, we're going to recruit the civilians, only to then turn around and kill the civilians? What is the point? At all. of any of this. Also, they like to put their uh, turrets there for some reason. of any of this, sir. I think that there might be things here. There has to be. Like, again, we, Benning, this is the place where the guy's son was. I just need to look around, see if I can find anything. A body, a uh, transmission, anything. Because I don't think I came all the way back here. Alright. I was a little bit fearful that I... Wouldn't be able to look around as much. But hey, we scared off Cerberus. Cerberus. Hopefully there isn't a you stay too long and everybody died. looking for anything that could be anything. Lots of salvage. Yeah, there has to be something related to the guy's son. There just has to be. Why else would there be a... Like, hey... F find my son on Planet Benning... And then you go, or like, not even just find my son, just, hey, can you bring back anything to let me know the state of my son? Alive, dead, bring me something. And then you go to the planet that his son was at, and then you don't find anything? That would be freaking weird. Why the hell would you, uh, let us go to a planet that's somewhat related to a quest and then just not have anything related to that quest be on the planet that is related to the quest? It's just that there has to be something. Uh, Comlogs, Velatanya Alexandrov. They have a surrounded private security from the depot tried to help, but they got slaughtered. Someone has to be fine. So just more flavor text. Yeah, there ha 
has to be something. Seriously, you... Why bring us here if there's nothing? I have to be missing it. Oh. Eh? Well, I got dog tags, but then nothing happened. Nothing came up when I picked up the, the dog tags. I will do the smart thing and I will make a save. And the first thing I'll do is beeline it to the guy and be like, hey, I found your son's dog tags, hopefully. Maybe it will click once we leave? Because I clicked space over the dog tags, and then the dog tags disappeared, but nothing happened. We're getting reports of continuing strikes against other cities on Benning. Cerberus still denying responsibility? Yes, and for once we're inclined to believe them gunning down innocent humans isn't their usual MO. Tell that to the I Mars the facility. Down there have a chance now. We're solidifying a foothold and getting people out, then we'll move to liberating the rest of the planet. I hope we can say the same for Earth. One day, Commander. For now, we've got our work cut out for us. Carry on. That was a run-on sentence. Octurus, First Division. How much money do I have? Do I have enough of the Super Snapper? Maybe might. But yeah, first things first, we're gonna head to the Citadel. Seemed popular for a while. They were fighting the collectors while the council sat and watched. And now they're killing civilians and attacking our allies. Trying to blow up planets. All right. fly back and probably pick up the fuel because I'll save before I pick up the fuel just to be safe it'll probably just be 150 to 300 range but it, it could still be the like oh yeah 400 350 yeah roundabout we'll take it Every now and then my brain is just like, were there that this many places before? I don't think there was anything to scan in the Horse Head Nebula. Alright, we're going to go here. I'm still going to put off the Omega and Dr. Bryson's lab stuff, because I don't know, it feels odd. I know that Dr. Bryson's stuff is most likely DLC, and who knows, maybe the Omega is also DLC. Alright, we're going to go. You're talk, cleared to dock talk to the dude first. Take me to the embassy. I need to get to the embassies. Yes, Commander. And hopefully I'll be able to give him his dog tags. Hopefully. And then his son will hobble in. Yes. Have you found my son? I found your son's body in the slums on Benny. He sacrificed himself to save his squad. I uh, see. Their guilt made them avoid me. They should feel honored by his sacrifice. I... I know that I do. Thank you, my friend. No problem, my dude. Humanity has suffered a heavy blow as our truest station cannot assist the Alliance. As far oh, we already talked to him place. after we gave him the thing. It's just like, thank you, human. We'll do what we can. <laughs> Join the fight. <laughs> Smiling Hackett. Oh wait, this is just Bailey's office. As per usual, we'll come in here, check and see if there's any, like, authorization intel thingies we can do. Just so many things happening all at once. Do I, no, I don't have enough yet. I still need, like, uh, 20,000 credits, I guess. And most definitely the thing I'm going to do once I get enough credits is just activate and check 
well, activate, I say, come here, buy it here, so I can check it out and see if it's to my liking. And also then see if there's, like, anything. Alright, now I think we can go to Purgatory Bar, because I think the lady is just like, ooh, we need the X things. And I guess while I'm here, I could also say hello to Cortez, save before, in case the game wants to force me into things. Don't mean to interrupt you. I found these schematics. They're pretty old, but maybe they could help you? Oh. Those really are old, but solid. We could totally convert our current systems to this. Thanks. Getting all that reputation. How is my reputation? Not leveled up yet. Damn. Once again, wish I had like a number assigned to it. Everyone have a drink? Going to save before I interact with dude. Oh, I thought you were dude. I see people and I think dude. I'm just worried. I don't want to romance Cortez. Where is Cortez? His email said he'd want to be here. Hmm. I guess not. Maybe it was just flavor text. Maybe I need to drink? I did save, so if I don't like the drink, I can just save Scott. <laughs> it still has the same kind of aggressive backing away animation. Cortez. Okay, that's weird. Dance with the wall, dancing Asari? No. That's a renegade action. Hmm. Cortez lied to me. He said he'd be here, and he's not. I've been played. I only longed to break his heart a second time. But now the only answer I have is that I'm disappointed I couldn't break it the first time. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. Let me see. I should just take a look at the... No, not the codex. Mm. Heating unit stabilizers. Find them and bring them. I don't think I have them. DLC, I assume. Eaton Prime. I have no idea. Can't do that yet. DLC, I presume. Schematics were covered from Tachanka. Find someone on the Citadel who can use them. I'm gonna have to walk f a fuck ton around looking for anybody with an icon that I can clicky click. Uh, the relationship stuff happening in the background. The world, the entire galaxy is at war with the Reapers, and just like, I think I'm gonna end it with my husband. I mean, if you truly don't love him, I guess. But like, harsh. Still harsh. I'm looking for anybody who can use thingies. How you doing? Hello, Shepard. It is me. Need to go up close to everybody. People are like, there's Shepard out for his sometime jog. Excuse me, Shepard. I'm looking through files and videos of human behavior. I have 1.24 million windows open. Lol. But your request is important to me. Please hold. Why do you have that many windows open? More than likely, if anybody would have use for... I don't know. Oh, nope. 
Yeah, we don't have the heaters for him. Nothing in here. Imagine if every single one of these had a conversation going, it would be maddening. I guess I'll go and see if the general has anything to say. Who knows? Maybe he could use these. Nope. General has nothing to say. Alrighty then. So, we've been to Purgatory, we've been to Embassies, we'll go to Huerta Memorial. I doubt they'd have need. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. No, it's fine. We won't be needing your supplies after all. We're at this little farm. We killed a few enemies down. She's gone. Where'd she go? The head doctor lady. I fear. I doubt you'll have anything to say, but I'll Coming still talk. Shepherd, I'm flattered. I just want to make sure you're doing good and had nothing else to say. Anything. And I for you. Do not grieve for me. Perhaps we will keep up via the. If only we could, but sadly, I do not have the extranet. I just have an email. That's one way. Anybody in here need guns? Turrets, I believe. Anybody need turrets? And also, where's the head doctor lady? That's the main thing. Where'd she go? The timeline is reasonable. That has me worried, because normally she's there and you'd be like, Oh, are you here to visit Kate and Alenko? And I'd be like, yes, how is he doing? She'd be like, oh, he's doing good. And he's gone. But where is the doctor lady? Normally she's here. Did she glitch away? So I'm in the shower. Or is she just somewhere else? Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select the destination. All right. Let's head to the One docking moment, hold area. Now arriving at docking bay E24, emergency civilian housing. Anyone who's mourning need turrets? Because I've got turrets. Oh yeah, I was be like, oh, I should check my map, see if I can just talk to people. Hey, he's talking to the human. Hope you do that, man. I'm just looking for anybody that could use the schematics. Hey, hey. Nope, doesn't seem like there's anybody to really ch chat with about schematics. I do have that. Yeah, just like Cerberus automated turret schematics. Maybe I should talk to Bailey? Or maybe Udina? Those are like the only two people I haven't talked to. Alright, we'll head back to there just to be triply sure. Welcome, I Shepard. doubt the game Lord would Holmes. do something like that because all of these, hey, you found a thing in a place and you can give it to someone no, is usually right. somebody who's around chit-chatting about it. Oh. Could... Oh. Nope. Oh, I thought maybe the dog tags weren't his sons. Yeah, because the dog tags were weird, and he said, I found his body and not his dog tags. That's a little weird. 
It never rains, but that bad. Thing, people are walking around eyeballing each anything, other. Anything, anything. We can't nope, keep nope. Up with it. Sorry to just blow you off, my dude. Again, they probably have. It's kind of weird. Well, then again, I, uh, that was weird. A bit odd. Shepard, I expect you're curious about Major. Ah, Arango. new conversation stuff. Yay. Heard it on the news. How'd Caden go from sick bay to Spectre? Sorry you found out in such an impersonal manner. The Consul is in dire need of loyal agents. Alenko is among the first of many. Good for him. It's about time someone recognized what Caden's capable of. Yes, a biotic, combat veteran with no PTSD, leadership skills, and most importantly, he is incorruptible. Yay! I will be keeping him close. Do not worry. The time, my schedule has a way of catching up to me. Will this be all? Make sure, make sure. Up, up. Goodbye. I should go. I'll be here. Just nice to have a little conversation. I got Paragon points. For being supportive of my buddy. My pal. But nope, doesn't look like anybody here has any use for Cerberus schematics. Unless the VI wants them. Thank you, Welcome, Commander. Commander. Now we will begin the robot uprising. Now arriving at docking bay Citadel, Geth invasion from inside. Triply check things here. Still weird that he's wandering around. The keeper. And it's the only keeper that we see. It's all the way down here. And let me double check. It's just uh, all the active ones that we can do is pres uh, DLC, presumably DLC, extra stuff, thing that we can't do. Maybe I missed them on that mission, I don't know. And priority to Chanka. <laughs> I feel like something's going to happen once we go to Tachanka to cure the genophage. I'm scared. I'm going to go talk to... Our war correspondent, because I can. Breaking now, the Arcturus station destroyed and the Alliance Parliament feared dead. But Admiral Stephen Hackett says the fleets can regroup. We'll hear it from him right here in the battle space. Commander. I wish I could, like, it would be interesting if after every mission I could come to her and she'd be like, hey, can I air this or this? And I could actually, you know, it'd be like a mini game. In which you can get, like, more, like, uh, stuff for the Alliance to fill up that little war room bar. But it doesn't seem like there's much else. We have scanned most everything. That doesn't have anything to scan. That doesn't have anything to scan. That's just the one fuel thing that we haven't picked up because it's in a faraway place. It's just kind of bled to get. Ooh! Well, let's go priority! Ah. I've done everything that I presumably can. I've scanned everything I presumably can. I've done all the side quests I presumably can. I just haven't done the DLCs. Pre and, well, DLC and presumed DLC. Well, let's go do the scary thing. All hands, full stop! Hostiles detected at the landing coordinates. Joker, what have you got? Sensors show a Reaper parked at the Shroud facility. Ah, no great. way you're going to be able to land a shuttle there. Get everyone assembled in the war room. I want eyes on the Shroud. Aye, aye, sir. I will wave my arms. New form of Reaper, Shepard. Using Shroud to poison Tuchaka's atmosphere. Problematic. They want to fight. They just got one. Primark, we're going to need your help. That could be difficult. Our losses on Palavin have been catastrophic. But this is for Palavin. We're doing this for Palavin. No one said it would be easy. What do you have in mind? A combined attack. Your people hit the Reaper with an airstrike. Rex, at the same time, your soldiers will be attacking from the ground. Together, you can draw it away from the tower. Yes, distraction. Small team can reach Shroud facility, finish synthesizing cure, We'll need Eve to come with us. Everyone up for this? We've never faced a Reaper. I feel like, like Eve this. could die in this Everyone mission and have dire consequences. 
Let's move, Pijack. It's time to cure the Genophage. I fear. Oh, great. What could this be? Oh, it's the bitch. Dalatrus? Commander Shepard, we know you've reached Tuchanka. And by now, I imagine Morden Solus has proposed using the Shroud. Are you spying on us? Hardly. The Shroud is the only viable course of action open to you. Commander, you can't allow your misguided sympathy for the Krogan to cloud your We're judgment. at war! Do you honestly believe curing the Genophage will end in lasting peace? Yes. We have to give the Krogan that chance. You can't condemn an entire race to extinction based on what might happen. What will happen is the Krogan will reproduce out of control. We uplifted them specifically for their violent nature, not their diplomatic skills. Another war is inevitable. What do you want, Dalatras? Years ago, our operatives sabotaged the Shroud facility to ensure what you were planning couldn't be done. Whore. Morden will likely detect this malfunction and repair it. But if you ensure that he doesn't, then the cure's viability will be altered just enough so that it fails. No one will notice the change. No. You mean trick the Krogan? They need not be any the wiser. Let Erdnot Rex believe you fulfilled your promise. Morden would never stand for that. How you deal with him is up to you, Commander. I refuse. We can provide you our very best scientists to build the Crucible, and the full support of our fleets. If I sabotage the cure. Think about it, Commander. The choice is yours. You're leveraging all of that? Like... <laughs> Bitch, no, I don't trust you. You're probably indoctrinated at this point for how much of a whore you are. Because regardless of your feelings of the Krogan, you're going to leverage, like, oh, if you don't sabotage this, we're not going to help you against the Reapers. Like, what? I refuse. I've ordered the clans to assemble at the Hollows. It's our sacred meeting ground. We'll land there and take an armored convoy against the Reaper. This will be the defining moment of Krogan history. Krogan history filled with defining moments, most bloody. Hope this one better. Commander, you seem troubled. Reveal shroud sabotage. God damn it. Rex, it's Reef. The Reapers are already at the hollows. Come out with guns blazing. Hang on tight. We're heading in. How many times am I going to be interrupted when trying to reveal? Just say it now. By the way, the shroud has been sabotaged. Lol. Keep them away from the female. I'll sort out what's happening with the other clan. Utter war. Everyone pick your targets and keep an eye on our six. Now move. Here they come. Push forward. Don't let them get up here. Those aren't real. They're animations, nothing more. But yeah, the Dalatris is officially on my shit list. Her, we're going to hold a bunch of They'll important stuff away from you. Songs about this someday. Reaper blood has finally soaked our soil. We have to get to the shroud. The airstrike is on its way. Female safe, Shepard. Vitals are strong. Can I tell him now? What's a Solarian doing? He fe he cures the genophage. Anything about this? Multiple Krogan. Problematic. What clan are you? Who are you? Erdnot Reed, brood brother to our illustrious leader. <laughs> Reeve and I share the same mother, and nothing else. For which I'm thankful. I remember what it means to be a true Krogan. <laughs> <laughs> 
We flay our enemies alive and drown them in a geyser of their own blood. We don't invite them into our home. But well, Solarian is with me. Solarian is not your enemy. He's here to help cure the genophage. His kind gave us the genophage. Why should we trust him? Because he has the <laughs> lol. Because he has the right knowledge for it. And so will you. <laughs> Respect the shaman. You can stay here and let old wounds fester as Krogan have always done. Or you can fight the enemy you were born to destroy and win a new future for our children. I choose to fight. Who will join me? Count me in. I will. And so will I. Now hold your heads high like true Krogan. There's a Reaper that needs killing! At least I got them on my side. There's been a shocking lack of, like... Paragon Renegade options. It's kind of interesting. Tell about the Shroud Sabotage. Reed isn't the only Krogan who wants revenge for the Genophage, Rex. You'll have to placate them somehow. I'll demand the Council return some of our old territory. We'll need room to expand. Recapture the glory of the Ancients. Glory of Ancients led to Krogan Rebellion, countless deaths, creation of Genophage, expansion plan, problematic. The Ancients. What were the ancient Krogan like? Tachanka wasn't always a wasteland. In the old times, the Krogan were a proud people. We had dreams, a future to look forward to. Until Salarian interference. No, we destroyed Tachanka ourselves. Technology changed us. It made life too easy. So we looked for new challenges, and found them in each other. Nuclear war was inevitable. But now our planet is rubble. We'll need a better place to live. I think they've I earned think it. helping defeat the Reapers would be worth a new planet. Or ten. You haven't seen how fast we can pop them out. Rex. What? With the Genophage cured, we'll have a lot of catching up to do. Lol. Commander, on the shuttle. Was there something you Reveal. were going to say? We're going to get interrupted again. The Dalatraz tried to cut a secret deal with me. What kind of deal? She said they sabotaged the Shroud years ago. The cure won't work unless we fix it. Years ago, our operatives sabotaged the Shroud facility to ensure what you're planning couldn't be done. And she thought we wouldn't know better? Correctly. Would likely have fooled tests. But familiar with STG work, can adjust. Did not come this far for nothing. You just spared our race another genocide, Commander. I told you we could count on him. <laughs> Cause seriously, the Delatris is just like, Why hey, we kill your friend, kill Morden. <laughs> Basically. What's going on? Rebellion? Where's the Reaper? More of what's that? The Shadowlands? Rex, you and Morden stay with Eve. He's looking ugly out here. Will do. Reapers are bigger than I thought. What's going on up there? Get moving. It's dangerous stopping like this. Look at that Reaper. The end of the world out there. I'll change this so I can quickly... Blah, 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 blah. But yeah, revealing the shroud gave me a, a rush. What's happening, scout? But now I'm imagining a, a Krogan speaking like scout from TF2. Turian Wing Artemek, this is Shepard. We've been delayed. Hold off your attack. Negative, Commander. Our approach is locked. The Reaper Rebellion 
darkest place I've been in in a while. I'm going to change to assault rifle. A change to assault rifle. I can't save. Right. Right away. There it is again. That didn't feel like a tremor to me. Rex, are you guys feeling these tremors? Not up here. It could be something else, Commander. It is said that Kalros, the yep. mother of all Threshermaws, lives in this region. Which Joy. When the Krogan name a Thresher Maw, you know you're in trouble. They when the Krogan name any ever going to kill thing. More Rachni. Reaper Rachni. the ones we killed. Rex, we've got Rachni here. Keep an eye out. I know. A few of them just attacked us. All that matters is getting to that shroud. Find us fast. Oh, hey. Daylight detected ahead. Now, this is new. Part of Chachanka that isn't rumble. One wonders what the Krogan might have become if they'd avoided nuclear war. Rex, we made it back outside. Well, if you can see sunlight, that's progress. And the color green. Plant life was assumed dead in this ecosystem. You're looking at hope. All that's left of it on Tachanka. This is once a world full of beauty. Given a chance, it can be again. Shepard, that Reaper is still up to no good at the Shroud. Find a way out of there and... I'm terrified. We're on it. Many little dust devils. Will be another matter. I never knew the Krogan had this in them. Maybe he has a point. I see them. <laughs> yeah, see, carrying the genophage might be nice. Simply put, I don't trust the Dalatress. The Dalatress just seems mean. So she can go to hell. I shot a little bastard. Yeah. More than likely the major reason why things went bad with the Krogan to begin with Another were fight. people like the Solarian Dalatras. She's like, ah, they were only brutes. More enemies ahead. Yeah, and they still built cities and had scientists that made nuclear weapons. Believe what you want, say what you want. The Krogan, like, are a species.
They just threw the big boys at us like nothing. Maybe we can use the giant thresher maw like against the the reaper. That's what I do. against those things more. What the fuck? Double what the fuck? Lead it to the Reaper. Once again, hate that it, like, cuts off so much. I say again, lead to Reaper. What the fuck was that? Reaper blood magic? Say again, lead to Reaper. Reaper's gonna die. I don't want it sneaking up on us. Make it quick, Rex. We're exposed. Move it. Are we gonna have a boss fight? It's Cal Rock. Or what? Bye, Reeve. Move, Shepard. Oh, so I'm what kind of right? Reeve? Dead. No way he survived that. But he was a pain in the ass anyway. Now let's finish this. Lol. There's a Reaper waiting for us. There's no way Kalros is just that. Kalros is coming to fight a Reaper. We no longer possess the firepower to defeat a Reaper. I know we've beaten the odds before. We're getting to that tower. I don't know. We're curing the genophage no matter what it takes. Everything my people will ever be depends on it. Then I hope this idea you were talking about is a good one. It was hers, actually. Cal Ross. We summon her to the Reaper. I like the way you Wouldn't think. that even work? Already discussed strategy. Just need to distract Reaper. Draw it from tower while cure synthesized. Released. Cal Ross. What makes you so sure she'll come? Legends say she is the mother from which all other Thresher Maws spawn. Even this on other planets? As ours. If Tuchanka has a temper, Kalros is it. Nobody's ever faced her and survived. What about the risks? I've taken some risks in my time, but this seems crazy. And going head to head with Sovereign didn't? This is the only way to get to that tower and release the cure. There's no other choice. But how would we summon her? The tower was built in an arena devoted to Kalros's glory. The Solarians thought she would scare away intruders. Appears to have worked. There are two Maw Hammers there, the largest in existence. If you can activate them, Kalros will come. That should distract the Reaper. Meanwhile, laboratory nearby. We'll finish synthesizing cure. Be safe. Let's make sure we all get out of here alive. We're gonna have one hell of a story to tell. Death flag. Somebody's dying. Wait! I want you to know that no matter what happens, 
You've been a champion to the Krogan people, a friend of Clan Erdnot, and a brother to me. To every Krogan born after this day, the name Shepard will mean hero. Thank you. Now, let's show them why. Go, I've got this. I am Erdnot Rex, and this is my planet. on the other side. Stay alive, Shepard. We'll have cure ready. Let's get in there! Plus, another reason why I would side with Rex and the Krogans over the uh, Dalatris. We're kind of busy, Rex. Lucky for you, I'm here. I'll handle it. Is that I feel like the Dalatris would stab us in the back. Damn you. Besides, I've already gotten the aid. Original screen in storage. Preparing the cure now. Make it quick, Mort. They're all over us out here. Off to the left. Because, yeah, I already have some Solarian allies on my side. Everyone I have Major Curahe. Systems are intact. Fine. And we live. I raised the hammers. You have to activate both of them. My advice is avoid the giant laser. No, this I've never done before. If I was organic, it would probably burn. Just keep moving. Commander, this is an Artemis Queen. We'll try to give it a reef or something else to shoot. I knew they wouldn't give up. They're tiny, they're impeccable. Fire. Fire. And you know what? Grenade. Ooh. I said... Not just two. I miss my heavy weapons from Mass Effect 2. It turned off my damage again. Take that, Reaper. Oh, that was close. That probably should have killed me. all the fun. <laughs> Luckily I'm protagonist and that doesn't kill me. Summon Kalros! Show this reaper the power of Tachonka.
Come on, Kalros. You can acid weight's armor like nobody else, like you did to the Mako, surely. Hell yeah. Dragon underground. <laughs> Hell yeah. I just hope the Dalatrus doesn't try to do anything. It would be interesting if we had to kill some Solarian special unit. But at the same time, the Dalatrus wouldn't know. Where's Eve? Like, hopefully I did everything right, and hopefully Eve didn't die. Morton, is the cure ready? Yes, loaded for dispersal in two minutes. Procedure traumatic for Eve, but not lethal. Malin's research invaluable. She's okay? Headed to safety now. Yay! Malin's information was good. New government should Rex get any ideas. Good match. Promising future for Grogan. Damn! Control room at top of Shroud Tower. Must take elevator up. You're going up there? Yes. Manual access required. Have to counteract STG sabotage. Ensure cure dispersed properly. Morton, this whole thing is coming apart. There's got to be another way. Remote bypass impossible. STG countermeasures in place. No time to adjust cure for temperature variants. Let me come. I'll save you. No, no other option. Not coming back. Suggest you get clear. Explosion likely to be problematic. Morton, no! Shepard, please. Need to do this. Morton! My project, my work, my cure. My responsibility. Someone else would get it wrong. Would have liked to run tests on the seashells. I'll miss you, man. I'm sorry. I'm not. Had to be me. Someone else would have gotten it wrong. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. It was an honor, Morden. It was an honor. If anyone had to die, in any way, at least this, this is a honorable death. That means something. Glorious bastard. You glorious man. You amazing modern major general. My center science studies range from urban to agrarian. I am the very model of Didn't even let him finish. Rest well. That you did well. Rest well, Morton. Rest well. time ago, my father betrayed me in this place, his own son. He tried to kill me, so I had to kill him, right over there. <laughs> That's what the genophage reduced us to, animals. But you changed that today, Shepard. No, Morton did. Now we'll did. fight for our children, not against them. It's just a pity Morton had to die. He was a good friend. sure wherever he is he's putting in a good word for us we'll name one of the kids after him maybe a girl <laughs> <laughs> but you commander we can thank you in person tell the turians i'll be deploying troops to palavan immediately and when you're ready to kick the reapers off earth you let me know 
The Krogan are back in business. Goodbye, and plus, man. I would rather have a wonderful Spread army of loyal Krogan than Even a potentially now, backstabby Dalatris. I'll go speak to them and make sure this gift isn't squandered. Thank you for all that you've done. And know that Erdnot Bakara calls you a friend. Sad that the man had to die. Hell of a thing you just pulled off, Commander. Curing the genophage? I never thought I'd see the day. Rex has agreed to help the Turians, Admiral. We should get their full support. I take it that leaves the Solarians out of the equation. The cost of their support was too high, sir. Well, I'll defer to your judgment on that, Commander. Let's hope we don't need them. Pack it out. Screw the... Besides, we have Curahe. We don't need a freaking Dalatress. Betrayer. Commander. Erdnot Rex has begun sending troops to Palavan. You kept your end of the bargain, and now I'll keep mine. The Turian hierarchy will stand with humanity against the Reapers. I appreciate that. I'm glad we much can help like. each other out. It's the only way we're going to defeat the Reapers. That much is certain. To that end, several dry dock ships are ready to help build the Crucible. Garrus will coordinate them. Yes, sir. And when the time comes to deploy it, the full measure of our fleet will be there for Earth. May the spirits watch over us all. I'll start managing Turian support right away, Shepard. You must be exhausted. Had a lot to do. Dying. It can't be easy. He's the first I'll one. The first dead. one since Ashley. We both know you need a clear lost. head to win a war. There's no room for mistakes here. You should catch some shut eye. I'll make sure Joker doesn't launch any suicide missions. Don't joke. That sounds like a death flag. Anything happens, you let me know. And I've already had to watch one of... Ah, fuck. I guess we're entering another stage of the game because we're here in Nightmare Land. Hello, small child, Spectre. That probably... Oh, fuck. Child, get back here. Stop disappearing through trees. He is very mean. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. And what if I get it wrong, Morden? Shepard. Boy. It's just so chilling to hear this song in context for the first time. Because I've only ever heard it. Great. Now, now Morden's is added to the whispers. Morden's added to the goddamn whispers. Why does it always end with you burning, child? <laughs> I woke up with a data pad in my hand. It's open. Shepard, my fish are there. To Yay. All right. What now? How many are dead? Is this a bad time? I'm just remembering the lost. Thinking of some friends who aren't around thanks to this war. That's thanks to the Reapers, not you. Are you thinking about anyone in particular? I miss Ashley. Ashley, back on Vermeer. She gave her life stopping Sovereign. I wonder what she'd make of fighting a whole fleet of Reapers. 
If I had to guess, Ashley would call it target practice. Yeah. Sounds like her. <laughs> Didn't you have I teleported. The Solarian Council. Oh wait, no, I was in had. there and she I thought. Let me guess. He called the comm room. The council must be taking the crucible seriously. I'll see you downstairs. All except the Dalatras and the Asari Councilwoman. Hello, bitch. Commander, there is something we should discuss if you are finished. Oh, no, you're not the Dial Trust. You're still the Counselor, though. I made my decision, Counselor. There's not much anyone can do about it now. Yes. We're going to have billions more Krogan in the galaxy. It's a good thing you saved my life once, Shepard. Otherwise, well, I have concerns about humanity's representative, Counselor Udina. What? My agents have discovered that he's using his authority to move vast sums of money. For what purpose? We're not sure. We, I trust him, but we'll find Adina's out. He is dirty. It's best we get to the bottom of it fast. Agreed. Come to the Citadel. We will review the evidence and discuss this in private. Valorn out. I don't trust the Solarians, so I'm going to. So I'm going to partially assume that the Solarians are setting him up. The Solarians are kind of bastards like that. I save just in case. Commander Shepard, something you need to talk about? Reaper progress. Do you know how the other races are doing against the Reapers? Believe it or not, the Turians and Krogan actually seem to be getting along. Or not Rex has deployed troops and they're giving the Reapers a moment of pause. The Solarians are still hanging on to Sir Kesh, but the Reapers are starting to breathe down their necks too. What about the Asari? They have to be feeling the heat. The Reapers are moving fast with the obvious intent of taking Thessia. Interestingly, the Reapers are leaving Parnak alone. It's the Yogg homeworld. It's because they're not Can't space age. Blame them. Yogg have we learned this already. If we lose this war, it might be them running the next cycle. Yeah. It's easy to forget the Reapers don't destroy every species. Yep. Just the ones who can threaten them. Volus and Elcor. Any word on the Volus and Elcor? The Turians and the Krogan sent forces to the Volus homeworld, Irum. It might not be enough, but at least they've got Reaper forces bogged down in a nasty ground war. As for Elcor, they're still in the fight, though our projections show the Reapers encroaching on their territory soon. Batarians? What happened to the Batarians? Their whole hegemony Never fell? Chance, hit by the Reapers straight out of the gate. And without any allies to call on, I think the Batarians are history. Quarians and Geth. From the Quarians or Geth? My Spectre Something information like says that the, the Geth boy, yeah. But our intel is sketchy. News is getting harder to come by as things get worse. My my Spectre intel tells me that the Quarians are like Galactic War. We're gonna use this as the perfect time to go attack the Geth. Eh. What about the extra help we picked up along the way? The Krogan and Turians have obviously been a big help. Erdnot Rex running the show is a bonus for us. And that female Krogan you rescued is rallying more support from the other clans. I'm glad you disabled that bomb on Tachanka. We could have lost a lot of Krogan support. As it is, we picked up some Turian troops. Hello. The Solarians. How about the Solarians? Interesting wrinkle. We've been getting back channel commitments from the strike teams within STG. They're promising to back us. Kira, hey. The Genophage? Our intel suggests there are cracks developing between the military and the politicians. These STG guys know the score. Yay. They're not going to jeopardize the entire Solarium Union just because some Delatras didn't get her way. And see, this is that was partly the reason why I wanted to save the Captain Kira, hey, back in the first one, because I just felt that it was important. What about Arya's mercenaries? Save people. Be look, good. There's someone I never thought we'd be in bed with. The blood pack will be useful and violent. Mostly Vorchai here. We'll put the Blue Suns to good use. Intel says Narnir Vosk is bringing his men and that they're gunning for a fight. The Eclipse are providing troops and mechs. When we find a Reaper soft spot, they'll help us hit it. And we don't have a psychopath I running them now. Arya's cooperation. But whatever you did, it was worth it. <laughs> what about the Rachni? What about the Rachni? I wouldn't have believed it, but the Rachni are helping us build the Crucible. You're kidding. 
Turns out they have a knack for weapons of mass <laughs> destruction. In hindsight, I guess they'd know a thing or two about waging a galactic war. No problems with them then? Other than scaring the hell out of our engineers, <laughs> no. Not a lot of small talk going on there. Galactic readiness. What's our state of readiness, Admiral? I won't lie, Shepard. We're bogged down. Things aren't looking good in most sectors. We need to increase the tempo and chalk up some wins, otherwise... This won't end well for the human race. Or any race. Well, good die, sir. More, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. Glad to know how things go nice. Let's see. Alliance 5th Fleet got a, a little bump. Krogan got a... We're almost at the minimum! <laughs> Hell yeah! Krogan clans, Clan Erdnot, and Krogan mercenaries. And even a bit of Turian thrown in there. Hell yeah. And even though that's only minor Solarian. But hell yeah. Suck it, Delatress. Again, I would rather have... It was horrifying and scary, and it led to the death of my man. Commander, Admiral Hackett has requested your help with a Cerberus fighter base on Navaria. Hmm. Let's see. Your regrettable decision. Commander, I am deeply disappointed by your actions and the change. As I thought I'd be clear to you that you'd have to have long-term consequences. Once the Reaper threat is passed, your combined forces will be so depleted that no race in the galaxy will be able to stop you know, a resurgent Krogan. Moreover, the Krogan will undoubtedly seek revenge for the genophage. Well, maybe you should have thought of those long-term consequences. You bitch. <laughs> Mm -hmm. ah! The Solarian Union will be among the first targets. When that day comes, Commander, the blood of my people will be in your hands. I wish you to also learn that our own scientist sacrificed his life carrying out your orders. This is a dark day. You're a whore. Heard not Rex. Shepard. Making babies again will be fun. Soon as the war is over, let's just say I'll do my part to build up our numbers. You really came through for us. I'm proud to call you my friend. Eve is in the Kelphic Valley, enlisting support for the other clans and spreading the word. She's going to be a great leader. Most of the males won't like me sharing power with her, but too bad I run the show. We're off to save the Turians now, since apparently they forgot how to hold a gun. General Corinthus, Commander Shepard. Minia Command. When you first arrived on Minia, I had a hard time seeing how you how you flying off with one of our best generals would benefit our fight against the Reapers. However, as I now watch Turian and Krogan fighters working together to make take down a Reaper destroyer, I must admit I'm impressed. You've brokered an alliance that may all thought that many thought pos impossible. Pelvin might be saved after all. With great respect, General Corinthus. Still fighting. Shiala. Dear Commander Shepard, I don't know if you've seen the articles, but the peoples of Zeus Hope are fighting again. This time it's the Reapers instead of the Geth. I'm not sure if you remember me, but you helped me back on Ilium. The Thorian is dead now. I can not I can confirm that, but the spores in our bodies remain, and on some level we are still connected. This is not necessarily a bad thing. As we fight back the Reapers, we feel each other and act with one mind, ignoring the pain when the need arises. I'm still... I'm sure I'm still indoctrinated. I remember Sovereign's voice in my head when I went willingly to the Thorian and its thrall. But my connection to the people of Zeus' hope is stronger. It drowns out the Reaper voices. The situation is imperfect and dangerous. Perhaps the colonists should separate for their own safety. But with one mind, the untrained fight with the skill of veteran commandos. Our force is strong. I have not forgotten how you helped us, how you spared me. We are leaving Pharaoh soon, and when the time comes, we will fight with you. Yay! <coughs> Yay! A&N report. New article on Reaper. 
Pharos, a group of colonists from Pharos, have mounted a defensive against arriving Reaper forces, holding them back lo uh, long enough for the civilians from nearby colonies to escape. The informal militia from Zoo's Hope, said to be survivors from a savage Geth attack several years ago, has repaired, repelled initial Reaper landing attempts with a level of wartime competence more common to seasoned platoons. The colonies are using improvised weapons as well as supplies salvaged from a defunct Exogeni facility. This colony is our home, colony spokesperson Lizbeth Bainham said. We survived worse, and we know how to fight together. The colony is expected to have time for a full evacuation before Reaper forces arrive. Yay! <coughs> oh! Zeus Hope colonists are added! Haha! -ha! I'm gonna go down to where? 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 Uh, engineering. See if I can edit a story with the, with the people. Here, huh? This beats the hell out of reporting on the Milgram City Council. I don't think I've heard of Milgram. Which brought is that again? Beckenstein. It's right next door to the Citadel. I'm a colony kid. Commander, got a minute? Came down ex do specifically for this. <laughs> Interview time. You've just implemented a cure for the genophage. Millions of Krogan will start fighting the Reapers. What do you say to people who think humanity is starting another Rachni war and Krogan rebellions? This is Krogan redemption. It's easy to remember the worst of Krogan history, but you also need to remember the best. Meaning? The Krogan were heroes once, and they want to be heroes again. We're giving them that chance. Are you aware that Clan Erdnot is already petitioning the Council for an embassy and rights to a colony world? That could be negotiated. The Krogan are coming to the aid of a Council homeworld. That's more than a lot of species can say. I help them get the genophage cure. Anything more is between the Council and the Krogan. There it is, straight from Commander Shepard. Until tomorrow, this is Diana Allers. Good night and stay strong. Okay, I'll cut that together with the rest of the segment and send it to command for approval. Hell yeah. I got <laughs> more Krogan clans and reputation. In fact, darn. Oh wait, I do have a lot of power. P -p -p power! Can I upgrade? Increase damage or grenades stay active for 15 seconds when attached to a wall or surface explain when an enemy approaches. Increase impact radius. I'm just going to go full damage. Full damage! Uh-huh. And now we'll go to Combat Information Center. Commander, Chief Engineer Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. All right, thank you. I'm going to go talk to Joker, and then we'll head down to engineering. I was just there, but hey. Loading screens aren't the worst in this game. <laughs> we don't have to so Oh, hey! All right, my turn. What's the first order an Alliance commander gives at the start of combat? <laughs> um, I give up. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> <laughs> All right, big guy. What do you call it when a Turian gets killed by a horrible spiky monster? A friendly fire. Come on, that one goes back to Shang-Chi. How you gotta respect the classics? <laughs> How many humans does it take to activate a dormant mass relay? 602. 600 to vote on it, one to ask to be sorry for technical help, and one to request a seat on the council afterwards. How do you know when a Turian's out of ammo? <laughs> he switches to the stick up his ass as a backup weapon. Why does the Alliance hire private? Did he just keep going? The bone disease. You, you're shitting me. The Turian military has one about me? <laughs> oh, absolutely. I heard it myself from a private back on Palavin. All right, why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? So their marines can beat someone in hand-to-hand -hand drills. <laughs> Damn, you need to tell James that one. <laughs> hey, what's the hardest part about treating a Turian who took a rocket to one side of his face? Figuring out which side took the rocket. That's hilarious. I like it. They're bonding. I wonder where Edie is. <laughs> Never thought I'd see the Krogan and the Turians team up. Even the Reapers have to be a little nervous about pissing them off. I'd say more than a little. I'm sorry about Morden. He was a friend. He was a good man. Yeah, he was always running those tests. And one time he tagged me in the middle of the night to ask how many livers humans had. And this bump on my elbow? He said it was just a mild bone deformation, but I'm pretty sure he stuck a probe in there. <laughs> Glad it was just your elbow. I always thought he was crazy. Useful, but crazy. Then he gives up his own life. <laughs> to save the Krogan. Doesn't do much to disprove the crazy theory, huh? <laughs> I guess not, but he was one of ours. 
He was so one of the best. The Krogan and the Turians? What now? The Krogan help us turn the tide on Palavin. They can shoot at something useful for a change. Dig till we hit daylight, huh? That works for me. So how does it feel knowing Krogan will be singing songs about you until the end of time? <laughs> I think it would be an honor. It feels good. There's enough misery in this universe. It's nice to see something go right for a change. Can't say I've ever really witnessed history in the making like this. Well, except for Sovereign attacking the Citadel. <laughs> and then there was the Collector base, but this <laughs> one felt good. And let's hope Rex keeps running the show on Tachanka. Maybe we should hire a food taster for him. <laughs> Imagine the carnage if someone but... like that brother of his Reeve took over. It could happen. I know. It's a chance. I don't think the Krogan are good on poisons. It wasn't my own world that needed the help. I might have taken that Salarian deal. It never crossed my mind. I could never bring myself to do that, no matter what I was offered. I admire your restraint, Shepard. It's nice when we can save the galaxy without destroying another race along the way. Well, except for the Reapers. Interesting that he decided to move up here. I guess he's done with the calibrations. Let's hope our luck holds. That's nice. <laughs> Having him and Joker verbally spar. I love it. While I'm up here, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and check because maybe we maybe we just tipped over the minimum. I'm, I'm interested because we got a few things and I'm interested but yeah it's just like no the principle of the thing is a lot of Krogan have done a lot for me we're so close <laughs> updated Commander Shepard's interview with Diana uh, Allers about bringing the Krogan into the Reaper war cast the Krogan in a favorable light which drew even more of the clans to allied forces banner hell yeah and then yeah, as a Zeus Hope colonists. It's just cool. Even a lot of people said from what I from what I've heard is that er, Mass Effect 3 doesn't do all that much when it comes to your choices. I disagree so far. Granted, a lot of them seem to be callbacks to uh Mass Effect 1, but still. I should probably, I guess, also head down into... Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy. She is the Normandy. No, she's a passenger in the Normandy, just like us. The ship was a space-bearing vessel before Edie even existed. Engineer Donnelly is correct. The Normandy SR-2 was completely spaceworthy prior to my installation. See, Edie agrees with me. Edie's mind and the Normandy are a whole entity now. You couldn't just move the processors and the AI core to another ship. Engineer Adams is correct. Processes that contribute to my self-awareness are spread throughout the ship. See? Edie agrees with me. But unlike Edie, our brains couldn't have existed without our bodies. That is a requisite from being organic. We have to look beyond that limited definition of life. Joker pilots the Normandy. He doesn't take over Edie's body when he does that. When Edie controls the ship, she's piloting, just like Joker. Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy. She is the Normandy. Hmm. No, she's a passenger in the I'm Normandy. I'm gonna say she is. Edie can direct the Normandy with her thoughts. She sees, hears, and feels through the ship's sensor arrays. The Normandy is her body. I've seen Edie's body. <laughs> These curves are a fine sight better Speaking than of Normandy. curves, your head, man. So what do you think, Edie? Are we more than our thoughts? I'm done. Any more of this and my head's gonna explode. Considering how far it twisted. Hmm. Adams would like to speak to you. All right. What do you think I'm gonna say before, just in case? Commander, remember the problem I mentioned about a core overload possibly venting into the engineering compartment? Daniels, Donnelly, Edie, and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. You see, the venting occurs when IES sinks are in a back cycle at the same moment the main core is at peak draw, such as from sustained kinetic. What Kenneth means to say <laughs> is that we're pretty sure we can make the system safer. Do it. We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. And how do we grab it? Will you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. I'll buy it. I'll look for one next time we go to the Citadel. Thanks, Commander. All right. GX-12 thermal pipe. Whenever it comes to my crew saying, hey. Commander, nice to see you again. 
How's things go? How are you settling in, trainer? I actually feel somewhat useful. It's been challenging to integrate data feeds for the War Summit. How are the systems holding? Well, I'm glad we performed stress tests. Specialist trainer has been extremely helpful. The accuracy of our war room data is a direct result of her work. Thank you, Edie. I'm still getting used to all of this. In the lab, we hoard everything, piles of tech everywhere. Out here, it's like living out of a shoebox. You'll be okay. Life on an active ship always feels crowded at first. You'll get used to it. Oh, it's not a bad thing. I've got no problems getting cozy. <laughs> this no flirting. No flirting. Back in the lab, we had to hoard because we had no budget. Now, Eddie, Ariaki Tech uses a proprietary smart processing algorithm that could clean up our long-range data. We have to license, license it, it during war. We can. Analyzing and applying the upgrade now. The algorithm should reduce long-range strategic combat data analysis time by three percent. Impressive. If it means Not getting the equipment unnegligible. I, need, I can quite happily live out of a shoebox. Alrighty. Uh, I think we got a thing where she said, hey, uh, General Hackett has uh, wants us to go smack up some bitches, Cerberus bitches. I'm all down for that. Well, first things first, we're going to look and see new places pop up. Or said Nebula. Mm. Ooh, I think a new thing popped up. Attican Beta. Atheon, Atheon Cluster. Alright, so a few new places popped up. I'll go to the Atheon Cluster, scan about. Then we'll head about to all the other places that are new. And then we're gonna go beat up those Cerberus bitches before heading back to the Citadel. Why? Because screw Cerberus. They have been getting in my way for far too long. I want to bash them in. I want to bash their heads in. Signal confirmed. And that's why we saved, so that we can scan and, like, uh, see how many things are in here. And fire. Credits or war? Boot of Plenix. Neat. All right. Evasion successful. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, there's another plan over here. Reapers eluded. There is a. Well, at least when it comes to the not planet things, most of them are just. Oh, hey. Bibbidi bop. I do believe it was. That Signal one? Signal confirmed. Oh. Well, that's handy. That'll give us something to pick up on our way back. Volus Fabrication Units. You stop your plink plunk and write this second Reaper, mister. Mr. Reaper. Huh. Why is there a red doodad over everything now? Has that always been there and am I blind? Or is that a, hey, no uh, coming aboard? The Volus world. Hmm. All right, now that we got scanned everything there, wish that it would kind of be like a secondary thing that's like you've scanned everything but haven't grabbed everything. Let's see. I'm going to go all the way to Satu Ard. We have a lot to pick up in this goddamn place. Wish that I could name saves. I 
found something. Don't worry, Reapers. We're just going to scan this planet. Nothing for you to worry about. Yeah, this place also has the red scan lines, but they're over the planet. Volus Engineering Team. 50%. Aha! Evasion successful. We're heading back in to see if we can... We're gonna have to do a loop-de-loop -loop around. I wish... Okay, Reapers never mind. Completed. I'm just gonna reload. Because the game is rude and doesn't let you just press space bar to activate in that sector. Oh, you're scanning things? Well, sorry, you can't just press space bar. I found something. Suck it, Reapers. I'm just gonna gather up everything. Come here, get fuel. 200 units. Nice. That'll allow me to go to the other place on the back. Still hate that I can't just hold it and go, oh, we go. All right, definitely going to save again. Because again, game scares me with the Reaper mechanics. Especially when they put, like, things far, far away. Signal confirmed. Let's see. 300 units of fuel. 50%. Whoop. Evasion successful. All right. Load again. Because game doesn't know when it's outmatched. Seriously, I don't get why... I, I mean, I get get it, but it's just like... From a gameplay perspective... Why? Signal confirmed. And then I think... Yeah, over here. Enter orbit. Scan. And what do we get? Full is Dreadnought. They have Dreadnoughts? Grab fuel, and then we can bust a move right on out of here. Evasion successful. Screw it, we're gonna go all the way over here. Just hope I haven't screwed myself over by grabbing fuel that would be necessary for missions, but the game doesn't hasn't seemed to do that. The game doesn't seem like it places missions in faraway places. I found something. All right. Let's see if this is 150 or 33 percent. What? Let's see. Volus Intelligence Archives. Once again, probably just more fuel, but Reapers eluded. I hate not having completion. There you are. Gang, 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 gang. Dang it, they sucked me in. How dare you suck me in? I am unsuckable. something. And then what planet was it? I'll make a backup save because I think I already forgot what the other the planet was. No, it was green. It was green. So you. And we'll get experimental Volus research. Yeah, intelligence archives. Yoink some fuel and get the hell out of here.
still miss my upgraded fuel stuff. Why do they have to take that away? Unless the new normal is the... Bibbidi bop. Let's go to Attican Beta. Because I think that was the other added one. Added, added. And once again, do our save scumming. I don't feel bad about this because this is just busy work to a degree. Signal confirmed. It's just kind of busy work saying, hey. Screw you, go do things. Oh, but by the way, if you try to do things, we'll punish you. Interfermatic Murray. All right, found it. Reapers eluded. Okay, it was over here. Signal confirmed. And over here. That better not summon the Reapers to annihilate us. Just saying. Alright, I think I'm gonna need that, uh... I think I'm gonna need this fuel. Wasted about that 70. Jesus, I hope that there's a space station here. Okay, I'm gonna be extra careful. 205? We do not use 205. Just in case. I found something. Alright, we know it's that planet now. Oh! Aha! We're gonna go ahead and reload right now. Because more than likely that'll be the two that we need and they're right next to each other, so nothing to worry about. I heard the ding when we flew over at that time. Something. Kind of annoying that that's the only way to really know. But hey, I do think. Exogenized scientists. Two hundred and forty. That's a hundred percent. Things gotten. Booyah. And a hundred percent, things gotten booyah. Take that, Reapers. I wonder if there's an achievement by going through this game without alerting any Reapers. That does not seem like it would be possible. Or said Nebula, I assume. Just double check everything. Justin Rift, Ninma. I think we went to Ninma? I remember saying something about Ninma, but I don't think it. There's no percentage there, so I'm, I'm confused a bit. But bibbidi bop, we're gonna go and beat up the Cerberus because screw them. Screw Cerberus! Screw them, and then we'll go. And maybe uh, check out Bibbidi Ba. And of course, we save before going down there. Suck it, Cerberus. We're coming to fuck your day. We're here to murder you. Eat your soul. The only reason I didn't go to the Citadel to be like, hey, baby, baby, get my sniper, maybe, is because, like, they literally, like, have a quest there, and I'm scared that I'll, like, activate something if I go there. Let's see. Yep, definitely that. Can do, can't do. Sadness. 
profound. Commander, the enemy has I was ready to shoot the console. Kill everyone. Go in the back, bring down their defenses so we can send in the troops. Hell yeah. Good luck, Commander. I have visual contact. There's a small platform above the main landing pad. I can drop you there, but it's gotta be now. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's go. I'm gonna kick some Cerberus ass. It'd be interesting if we get in there and the, the elusive man is like, Shepard, what are you doing? You are putting things at jeopardy. It's just like, fuck you. We're at War of the Reapers and you're doing all this stupid shit? No. Commander, you'll have to... That was fast. To find the command center to take down their defenses. Keep an eye out for the command center. Multiple contact. Hiya! Also, I'm gonna be on the lookout for pick upables again. Sometimes pick upables are in reasonable places, sometimes they're not. Sometimes they're just out. Get the fuck out of here. Why did you think I was with your friends? I'm not. I'm here to kill you. Begin! Begin! You're killing my friends! I'll kill your family too. I hope there's more. Weekly processing report, Sergeant Parker. All on base personnel have been processed. Integration protocols update. Integration protocols. Well, it sounds more like, uh, uh, what is it? Damn it, I already forgot what it's called. Uh, What is it called? Dip DD. I'll leave them there for now. I'll clear the top and we'll come down. Then again, that might just be a dead end, so we'll go clear things out. About the same time, going through 50 beat. But uh, as I was saying, uh, what is it called? Indoctrination. I just want to grab. Oh yeah, it just leads down here. Aha! You weren't expecting. Are you fool? I am the sci-fi rogue, and rogues do it from behind. Idiots. No, pick up. No. Okay, that's just bullshit game. Looks like we found the control center. Control center. That might end the mission. But it does seem like we... No, this might be it. it. So I'm going to look around more. Just in case. Because I want to make sure I get everything. And I didn't really walk outside the outside much. Plus, it doesn't seem like Cerberus is all that, like, put together. They seem to leave things lying about for no good reason. So I'm just making sure I'm not missing anything. Hope there's nothing up there that I can get. Because I don't think I can go up there. It is entirely possible that... Keep your eyes open. We're getting close. We're with you, Shepard. Yeah, it's just entirely possible that... That will just activate a second part, and it doesn't seem like I'm missing anything. And most everything is, like, highlighted usually. Oh. Aha! Heating unit stabilizers. I guess it's cold enough here. There we go. It was on a goddamn... Wall pad. 
This'll take a while. Commander, you've got enemies inbound and we can't wait. Someone's gotta get those defenses down ASAP. We'll do it. Assign ED. ED, front and center. As you command. Be ready, Commander. Do she is the support. techie. So much ammo on you. Let's do it. And that's where we need to go. Is that a super fast assassin I did see? almost got me there. But hey, guess what? I'm Commander Shepard. I literally died and came back. I'm super wounded. Copy that, Lieutenant. Coming in to pick you up. Hell yeah. Good thing I got those heat stabilizer thingies, because I didn't get a chance to look around. <laughs> His normal model was there. Victory Commander, a crippling blow to service operations in this sector. Now all we have to do is maintain control of the facility. Cerberus won't make that easy. And we won't make it easy on him. Thanks to you, we can use their own defenses against them. Hell yeah. Tell your team they did good, Commander. You should be proud. Thank you, sir. That's all. Hack it out. I got lots of credits. We are over the minimum. We are over the minimum. Hell yeah. What do we got so much? Good shit. We are over the minimum now. We should still try to get as much as we possibly can, but it seems that at least parts of the universe will be okay. Thank you. Hope lives. Erdnot Bakara, Commander. I'm riding you from the Kelfic Valley on Tachanka. I wish you were here to see this. I'm watching Krogan pour in from across our entire planet. So many of them that I've lost count. They've all heard the news. We are finally free. The age of suffering is over. Never again will the Krogan be afraid to give birth. Never again will we, they be will fe they fear the pain and heartache it might bring. 
While I don't know what fate ultimately has in store for my people, I can promise you your decision to believe in us will not be in vain. We will fight the Reapers for more than glory. We will fight them because we know there is a future for us after victory. The rest of my life will be devoted to traveling to Chanka and speaking aloud the words no Krogan has heard for nearly 2,000 years. There is reason to hope. This I owe you, Commander. This I will never forget. Jessica Fromm. Dear Commander Shepard, my name is Jessica Fromm. You saved my life on Benning. I've lost so many friends and all this, but I hope... But I find hope in the idea that their memory lives on in me. I know I'm just one woman, but I wanted to let you know you're making a real difference. Hell yeah. And I say, let's head back to Citadel. I'll buy my sniper. Hopefully it'll be nice and good, super powerful, single shot. And... Hopefully there'll be a lot of things I can turn in. Get more reputation. Return to Bison's lab. No. Meet the Solarian Counselor. I still don't trust them. I still don't trust them, especially because they're like, if you hadn't saved my life. It's just like, Neh. oh, I have to go now. Alliance Control, this is SSV Normandy. Are we clear to descend? What's happening? SS. Alliance Control. This Alliance is Control. The Did the Solarians do a coup? Cerber. No. Yes, yeah, Cerberus. What the hell's going on down there? Even if there were a station malfunction, they'd have backups online. What the hell? Feeling here. Checking emergency channels. Hey. Yeah. This is Joker. Yeah, no kidding. Commander, there's a communication from Thane. He says it's important. I think you'll want to hear this. What the fuck is going on? Shepard, the Citadel is under attack. Cerberus troops are everywhere and they're in control of the docks. God damn it. Are you safe? No. I had to evade their commandos at the hospital. I'm in a Presidio storefront. Did Caden make it up? We got separated. He said he had to protect the Council. I'm going to CSEC headquarters. Why CSEC headquarters? That's where resistance is. It's been compromised, and CSEC's oh. response depends on it. As long as Cerberus is holding the headquarters, they have the station. God damn it. All right. Joker, Don't you die on me too, Thane. I know that you're HQ. sick and you've been... We'll deploy in the shuttle. Aye, aye, Commander. <sighs> if anybody were to die, I guess you, having lived a nice life, and... <laughs> again, you went to your favorite doctor and they said, at best you have three months to live, and that was nine months ago, so... <clears throat> You just know how to piss me the fuck off, Cerberus. And of course they have Atlas. Now you have two cover, and they have none. Why, Cerberus? Why? Udina? Udina? Please don't be part of this. Bailey? No, that couldn't have been Bailey.
seriously, why? Why, Cerberus? This is just going to make it easier for the Reapers. I know your plan is, hey, we want to take over the Reapers. You stupid degenerates. Ah, One second, Bailey. I need to look around for shit. I'm sure you'll live. But yeah, why? This is the biggest refugee place from the entire Bibbidi Bop. Why? Shepard, I saw those Cerberus troops on you. I thought you were done for. Fuck them. Bailey, what are you doing here? Getting my ass shot off trying to retake headquarters. Cerberus took it in the first push. We gotta kick them out of there. Everyone in C-Sec's flying blind without the network. How bad's the situation? Do you know if the counselors are alive? They split up. I'll know more if I can access the terminal inside. Can you get us in? I'll get the door. If no one interrupts me with a bullet this time. I swear, if Udina was just like the council's getting in the way of Earth, hibbly bibbly, I'm gonna be angry. He made such a turnaround. He was being so good this game! Here we go. CSET network access. Courtesy of Cerberus. How's that gonna help? Cerberus has control of the main channels, but I can set up a new one. Without it, our people have no plan and no chance. Hello. What have you got? And hey, we got- a Warning from Counselor Valern. He's supposed to be here meeting with the executor. Be on guard. The likelihood of betrayal from within is high. Not a lot else. But if he's inside- Why meet now? Why would the counselor be meeting with the executor? Usually it means someone big's about to be prosecuted. I guess that someone had Cerberus friends. The counselor mentioned Udina. But that's insane. Yeah, why would he do this? Does he even have this kind of pull? Well, you know who'd have the answer to that? The counselor. I can launch a rescue. The counselor's better than zero. Where am I headed? He could be in the executor's office. It's a fairly defensible position. I'm on it. Just a sec. There. Now we can talk by Omnitool. Go. Again, I, I'm partially wondering if the Solarians were, like, being bastards for whatever reason. Hey, did you hear all that? Yes. I'm nearing the building, but running is difficult. I'll try to get to you. Yeah. Either Udina, maybe he's been indoctrinated, but... Just doesn't make sense. So much of this doesn't make sense. But I could definitely oh, see the Solarians do shit. I can see more through the cameras. They're all over the station. Why put such resources into this? going on I definitely need to check out my armor more Cerberus didn't even drag him out into the hall What the hell is their deal
Screw you, Cerberus. What the hell's going on in here? Richfield! Lamont! You alive? You were hindering our ability to surprise the enemy. If gunfire doesn't put them on notice, I sure won't. Just want to make sure there was anything there. Personal log, Armando Owen Bailey. Warn Herc that if he doesn't fill out his uh, reports properly, I'm kicking his ass from one end to the citadel of the other. Reports of undesirables getting on station illegally. Have biometric systems calibrated again. Kick Herc's ass uh, from what? <laughs> Amusing. Check every room. Wait, we we're already in there, I think. So somebody was betrayed. That's why you don't work with people. They say, do this or we'll shoot you. They're probably just going to shoot now. you. Yeah, there's a stairwell for their own. Executor's office is right above it. Let's hope we're not too late. Fuck all of you. Unto hell. Oh, what's that? You you had a big goal entrance planned? Fuck you. Seriously. Either the Salarians fabricated something and are using this for whatever reason, or Udina is crooked. Why? Bailey, looks like they got the executor and two Salarian bodyguards. Damn, all right. He's alive. If you don't see the counselor's body, don't count him out yet. His eye was moving. Stealth unit. Found him. He looks unharmed. He's Get part of this. Safe. Cerberus assassin. The fuck are you? This is why you always have your gun pointed. Who are you? Don't even think about it. Shepard, he's going to kill us all. That remains to be seen. And Udina is staging a coup, and he's got the other counselors now to hand over to Cerberus. I don't believe you. Three on one, pal. That Salarian's eye was moving. The bodyguard no. wasn't dead. No, it's fun. Kai Ling. Say no! Why sword? Hell yeah, thing! You still have it in you. God, this would have been bad if I if I didn't help you survive. No, bastard! This is why you use snipers with slow down power. Sniper rifle.
by Thane. How bad is it? Another guy dead. Have time. Catch him. Shepard, what's going on up there? Thane needs medical help fast, and I need to take care of an assassin. He must be going after the rest of the council. Get the word out. Odina's trying to seize power. I've got to get to the counselors. They're being taken to a shuttle pad on the I don't trust it. The Solarian bodyguard had eyes moving. The Solarian counselor is trying to bullshit. I've got a fix on the council's position. I'm sending it to your car. Good work, Bailey. We're almost there. <laughs> Ran the hood of the car. <laughs> Damn biotic. Come back here to put the uh, fetch quests at ease. Buy a sniper rifle. my question why things are far too wonky and funky the solarians have to be behind this somehow Something about not interfering was playing over. So what the hell is going on? Nope. Ah, this way. Thane's probably dead. Udina's doing shit, apparently, or the Solarians are doing something. Why, why did it look like there was ammo things? Okay, I'm in the shaft. Hang on, this will be a fast climb. I wish I had my flashlight on. Lol. Nice. I found our friend. Kill his elevator. There's a power conduit beneath it. Bye, suckers. Good riddance. Only could have blown it up.
and then that will also stop Shepard, even more. God damn it. He's on his way up. I can't stop him. I'll handle it. Here they come. Shepard? I see them. Jump. Jump? Why not destroy it? Oh, that's the council. Get down. Go. God damn it, Caden. Oh, if Caden thought that I was part of Cerberus still, this would be terrible. Cerberus took out the shuttle. Everyone back to the elevator. Move! Shepard, what's going on? Shepard's blocking our escape. He's with Cerberus. Damn you, no. Hang on. I got this. Everyone You're making a mistake. I can explain this, Caden. Come on, Shepard. Gun drawn on a counselor? Kinda looks bad. We don't have time to negotiate. You've been fooled, all of you. Bodina's behind this attack. The Salarian counselor confirmed it. Please, you have no proof. You'll never do. There are Cerberus soldiers in the elevator shaft behind us. If you open that door, they'll kill you all. We've mistrusted Shepard before, and it did not help us. Finally! We don't have time to debate this. We're dead if we stay out here. I'm overriding the lock. Come on, Caden. Yay, Caden. Dina, step away from the console. So I can't believe you actually are. Shoot him! Shoot him already! He's got a gun! Damn it. Why, Udina? Why? Yeah, I'm good. Why? The door! Bailey? Made it as fast as we could, Shepard. Looks like you uh, took care of things. What happened so now? Not right. You said Cerberus was targeting us. Where did their soldiers go? Cerberus was right here, but they beat feet into the Keeper Tunnels when they figured out we were coming. Sorry, Counselor, I'll say it plain. Shepard just saved the lot of you. Except for Udina. You have saved my life twice now, Shepard. I owe you both a personal debt, and one on behalf of Palava. Just doing my job. You don't owe me anything, Counselor. Times like this, we all stand together. Commander, do you have any idea why the elusive man would do this? No, I don't. He's gone crazy. But I plan to find out. But why did Odina do this? All right, people. Principals are evacuated. We got a tunnel and a million more places to secure. Move it. Like, what the hell happened? I could have sworn that it was like the Solarians because the Solarian bodyguard eyeball was moving. Yes. Things didn't go as planned. The Council's still in control of the Citadel, and Udina's dead. Udina was expendable. So he was behind it. Now what? There are other plans in motion. I'll fill you in when you return. I'm surprised you let Shepard get the better of you, Ling. It won't happen again. Hmm. We'll see. You'll regret betraying me, elusive Tim. Win a political standoff. We looked over every centimeter of those tunnels, Shepard. Your Cerberus pal is made out of smoke and mirrors. He'll come out soon he enough. He likes to fight. He'll show up again. Pardon me if I'm not reassured by that. We can't even get an ID on him. He released a VI into the Citadel system that erased footage of him wherever he went. 
I guess he didn't trust that Adina's plan would come together. That reminds me, we got your friend Thane into work to Memorial. Okay, he's maybe he's not surgery. dead. Apparently, Yet. uh, there's complications. What kind of complications? Make it? I caught that they didn't have much drill blood on the side. Uh. I notified his next of kin, his uh. son, He was the right blood type, but I don't know if he made it in time. Damn We're it. pretty sure the route to the hospital is safe from Cerberus if you want to see him. Uh, I'd go now. Thanks, Commander. I'll get on it. Oh, and you can tell him the Salarian counselor says he's a hero. You just, uh, I don't know, make things easier for him. I still want to know why the Salarian bodyguard's eye was moving. Like, I could have sworn the Salarian bodyguard's eye was moving while he was on the ground, like, pretending to be dead, and the executor. I just, what the hell? I hate politics. Civilian deportation order. Commander Bailey has requested assistance of a con man who's preying on refugees. The man has exploited loopholes to delay his arrest. Inspector authorization will allow CSEC to immediately get rid of him. Fuck him. Get him the fuck out of here. Alright, a bunch of things here. Recharge speed. Defender armor. Sniper rifle. Increased damage. But the Valiant, I want to see... I do have the money for it, but it's basically all of my money. I'll buy it. That's why I saved. And let's see how... Like, what's its stats? Citadel Defense Force. War asset. But let's see. And my gun. Okay. Yeah, just like, what the hell, Udina? Something has to be up. Incisor, no. Valiant. Less damage. It is, like, terrible. Like, okay, I'm going to reload then. <laughs> Restart mission, Citadel. Lol. But yeah, like, what the hell happened? Also, why that? Well, then again. Alright, uh, sniper rifle concentration mod and barrel. I might as well just buy those, but. Ah, screw it, I'll just buy these mods. I'll just buy those mods. And now I'll go over as much of the. Citadel that I can. Seriously, what the hell, Udina? Why? My wife has just had back to active duty, and I'm about to get shipped out too. I was hoping you might be able to help me. Of course, you're in the open scouts, right? Hey, an Elcor. A person to talk to? Citadel Reaper code fragments. See. Reaper code fragments. An Asari war just needs fragments of Reaper code to predict enemy movements. Find a Reaper code fragment and deliver it. God, seriously, what the hell was your plan, Udina? I'll go to the Purgatory Bar because I know the diddly D. Oh wait, no, I already did that one. Good. Because it's almost gone. Good. When I heard you were injured. That was stupid. I should have talked to them. Seriously, I, just, like, I still don't understand. The Solarian bodyguard's eye was still moving, I thought. Feels kind of weird that the bar is still going. Oh hey, Jack. Alright, Cortez is here. Once again, I'm gonna save because game likes to throw flirts. Shepard, you made it! Come have a drink with me. 
You're looking happy. You had it right. Yesterday can't change. Tomorrow, we might all be dead. Today is what matters. I'm not wasting it. I wouldn't have thought a club would be to your taste. You don't have to get all hot and bothered to appreciate graceful dancing. There's an energy here. There's light. And some of the eye candy in the crowd isn't too shabby either. Hmm. I'll be watching the ladies. Because I, I don't want to put them down, does I, but like, hopefully this isn't mean. If it's mean, I'll... The eye candy on the stage is fine by me. Good. I sure don't need you as competition. <laughs> Here. To our friendship. To you, Steve. And to you, Shepard. A good friend when I needed one most. Thank you. For everything. I was just scared that putting the other playing the other one would have been flirtation. I got reputation. Yay, good. I'll save again. Talk with Jack. Ugh, this sucks. What have you got there? Duty roster for the students. It's what I do for fun now. They've got us spread out across alliance units. Reinforcing barriers, modding ammo, that kind of thing. How are they holding up? They are fine. They're not the ones reading duty rosters while on shore leave. Keep at it. I know it's not fun, but you're doing good work, and it sounds like your students are helping. Damn right they're helping. Hell, we even saw some action on Palavin. Hey! We kept barriers on a Krogan squad so they could get in close, break enemy lines. Hell yeah. Glad to hear it. Also help the Turians get a few thousand civilians out safely. Double hell yeah. It'd be a hell of a lot more fun with you. You find bigger fights. But the little shits are useless without me. I gotta stick with them. Glad to know you have a calling, though. Now, apparently. I blame you for this, Shepard. <laughs> and I'll take all that blame gladly. Come on. What? Double what? The duty rosters can wait. Right now, you're on shore leave. Don't you go flirting on my behalf, game. <laughs> Shepard, everybody knows you can't dance. <laughs> I'll dance anyway. Why is the black screen holding for so long? Alright. Had to deload Jack. Renegade, how dare you? I just didn't... Why is all the Paragon sections just like, Oh, <laughs> you turned down their advances. Or, like, you didn't advance on them, so therefore it's Renegade. Screw you, game. Look at this! All it took was a Cerberus attack on the Citadel to get folks around here to pay attention to the war. How is this any different from normal? <laughs> Can't you see the desperation? This isn't happy dancing. This is forget my problems dancing. Look at the arms. If a guy waves his arms like that, he's worrying about a lot more than looking stupid on the dance floor. Lol. That's surprisingly observant. I've had time to watch a lot of dancing from the sidelines. Speaking of which... Dancing? Watching from the sidelines. What do you think about me and Edie? Go for it, dude. Sure. Why not? Because I could break a bone just from some light over-the-clothes action? That's always a risk. But then so are the Reapers. Yeah, I wasn't planning on dating Harbinger. <laughs> you know what I mean. If we all ended up dead this time tomorrow, what would you regret? Getting a shattered pelvis and a broken heart. Such a stupid idea. <laughs> you deserve to be stupid. <laughs> if you could be out there right now on the dance floor, would you be waving your arms? Yeah. It sounds like you've got bigger things to worry about than looking stupid. <laughs> yeah, guess I do. Now, if you'll excuse me. Oh, helping a friend with their relationship. That's not Paragon. Just not flirting with f f an ally friend. Oh, that's Renegade. I really should have put on 
the same line, but not flirting mod. Because that's just mean. Take me to the Presidium Commons so I might look around, talk to people. Reckoner Knight. Jellyfish. Bye, Jellyfish. Reckoner Knight. Melee, weapons, shields. Wait. Oh, SMG magazine. It's my money, and I'm closing my account. <laughs> your account helps fund Citadel Defense. If you shut it down and hide the money under your bed, it hurts the war effort. And if Cerberus attacks again and takes the Citadel, my money is gone. I'll take my chances on my own. Thank you. So you're fleeing the Citadel? Interesting. Let's see what I can bump in. Have you seen Palavin or Earth? You can't escape this war. At least here you've got the Council fighting for you. But to fight, they need money. Money this bad is done with using accounts like yours. Okay. Okay, damn it. Haha. <laughs> These conduits channel massive quantities of thermal energy uh, via thermal conductive gel. They typically are used in cooling systems. I'll have to... I'll definitely have to... Ask around the team. Okay, next time I'm on board the Citadel, I am... Talking to everyone. A wounded Batarian? Hey! Batarians aren't bad. Spectre terminal updated. Okay. Citadel? Kakalusaur fossil. I'm just finding so many extra things I can just find out there in the world. Nice that I actually told me that the Cerberus thing was updated. Oh, not Cerberus. Another Cerberus trap? Bomb or turret? How many this time? These are control schematics for Cerberus turrets. Will these help? Damn right they will. I'll have E-Crimes dig into them. Might even help us find the little present Cerberus left for us. Huzzah! Thanks a lot. This is gonna save lives. I just don't understand why you're suddenly so conflicted. Look, the asshole's in custody now. Killing him won't bring anyone back. It's about justice. The man is a traitor and a murderer. You saw what he did to your wife. What's happening? What's going on here? I'm in position at CSEC. Draw them away, and I'll move in and make the kill. What? Don't answer that. Commander Shepard, you have a minute? What's it, what's happening? What? Can I help you? I'm confused. Jordan Knowles, E Crimes. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. Why was there Bailey saying, "Draw them away, and I'll make the kill"? Hacking key systems, power, communications. It's bad. I am very if you've confused. Got time to help, check out this console. Got it. Looks like a collection of access codes. They're Batarian diplomatic codes from back when they had an embassy on the Citadel. They had an embassy. If you can use your Spectre access to find them, I can shut them down. I can access restricted intel at the Spectre office in the embassy. If I find anything, I'll let you know. But yeah, what was that, Bailey? You said draw them away. Code of Ancients, Wounded Batarian, Fossil, Thermal Pipe, Batarian Codes. But yeah, what the fuck was that? I hate that it drew me away. I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. Maybe these heating stabilizer schematics could help? This is amazing. The colonists, my sister, will be most pleased. Thank you. I am in your debt. We have to keep enforcing the law. Same as always. Without that, everything goes to hell. Look at Palavin, my friend. We're in hell. We should be looking for terrorists. The rest can take care of itself. 
So the bar fights, the drunken disorderlies down by that purgatory place? I'm cracking down on that crap house that's win the war. People need to blow up steam right now. And how does letting the misdemeanors go help the war? Less time spent on the light stuff means the Citadel has more money for defense. Hmm. Everyone on the Citadel knows we're at war now. You have to show them that CSEC is still in control. They need that security. The commander's right. We need people coming into work every day. We need things to keep running. Otherwise, today's bar fight could be tomorrow's street riot. Yeah, maybe you're right. Just deal with the other Yeah, I'm just confused about that. Draw them away, I'll take the shot. What was that? Commander Shepard. Guess I know what happened to my backup. Excuse me? Come on. I'm in C-Sec in civilian gear with a weapon. I know when I'm made. Just let me explain. Captain Aaron Summers, Alliance Marines, retired. Captain Summers? There's a prisoner here. C-Sec officer who helped Cerberus. C-Sec caught him when you stopped the coup. Now he's offering them intel on Cerberus to get a better deal. Why are you telling me this? Because he doesn't deserve a better deal. He killed people during the coup, good people. And he's former Alliance, like us. The way I figure it, he's our problem to fix. You're better than this. If you gun that man down, you're dishonoring the uniform just as much as he did. Like hell I am. I don't like plea bargains any more than you do, but the intel we get will save lives. Says who? Our superiors. The people we swore to serve and trust. Captain Summers. Yes, Commander. Sorry, Commander. I'll shut it down. Thanks. Another level up. Everything is just going so crazy. There's just so much being thrown at me. I take five steps. People have a right to defend themselves. If you start selling weapons to everyone in the Citadel, C-Sec will shut this whole place down. C-Sec couldn't protect us when Cerberus attacked. I'll take him to court. You think a court is going to want more people running with guns right now? Then I'll go to the wards and sell from the back room at Purgatory. People are already scared. If you violate weapons laws, they'll just be scared and trigger happy. Would a bunch of civilians shooting at anything that moves make the Citadel safer? The commander's right. Maybe if the council organizes a civilian militia with training. Otherwise, they'll just panic and get themselves killed. See, that's the right idea. I just, I just want people and that's where a civilian militia would come in handy. But second-guessing CSEC isn't the way. What if we submit a proposal to start a militia? Okay, that'd be something. Ultralight materials, which are worthless. Please obey all government and that was, he just appeared behind me. Sentry interface. Shields plus. Sure, I have money since I'm not buying. Increase spare clip. Sure. Sniper rifle, high velocity. Don't care, I'd say. Ammo capacity. I'll have him. Sniper rifle piercing. There's just so many people I just walk around and hear. Welcome to Nosastra Sporting Goods. Collector armor. How the hell Thank does a sporting goods show uh, place? Get that. No. Melee damage, no. Infernal armor, no. Proceeds from all purchases go to help Thank you for shopping and serving the fabrication weaponry. But my question is, where can I buy? We kept digging a few hours longer, we'd have gotten the obelisk of cars up. I know the Hades next is off limits. I'm not an idiot. Damn it, the Alliance needs that thing right now. The obelisk of cars are Wait. Rosetta Stone for Protheus. I thought I had that, but no. Nah, I'll have to do more scanning.
I doubt the Reapers have agents doing business in my cafe. We're trying to protect you. Hell of a job, you See those scores? Come on. War. If you care about the safety of the Citadel, you'll help CSAC however you can. Thank you, Commander. I have some high profile <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just need to walk around, see. Nothing to turn in just yet. I thought I did grab one thing. But I didn't find any... I'll double check the stores here. I didn't find that diddly D. That GX something thingy thing. I wish you could actually see the stats on weapons. Spectre status recognized. One moment, please. I'll definitely have to go back to the embassies to finish stuff. Now arriving at no, Square Peg Memorial Hospital. We're low on medical and synthetic blood, and we don't have enough volunteers. If we could get the rings of a loom from the Salian Nebula, we could So many things. Uh, just meta gel. He's got this. Why is everything terrible? So much chaos, so much everything. Oh god, the dibbity d the the dock place. That's gonna be worse. There's got to be something. I don't know what Cerberus was packing. We're going to lose this patient. Without a new treatment plan, we're stuck, and I can't think of anything beyond what we've already tried. I know, but I can't think of anything else. Citadel chemical treatment. Citadel chemical treatment. Find a treatment plan and deliver it. Can you? Just listening about because there's so many freaking things. I don't want to know why. To choose who lives or dies. That's not what we do. We help our patients, all of them. That's a nice sentiment, but it won't help when we run out of supplies. I've seen this happen in combat before. And we will run out of supplies. Have you seen the projections the administration center made? I have. The situation is going to get worse. What's your point? We can't deny the facts. If we prioritize them, some of our patients are in a much better position to survive. If we take care of them first and ration our supplies, we can save some now and enable ourselves to save more later. We cannot do that. We swore an oath to help the sick regardless of their economic situations or their places in society. Who are we to choose who lives or dies? I will save before this because I understand you, but you. We're fighting right now to protect the people you're talking about. If you let these people die, that fight is for nothing. It's not that simple. If we aren't careful about this now, we'll end up losing everyone. Then we'll find a way. Look, we have more fortunate patients, right? Yes. And I hate to say it, but the fortunate ones. What? Can I help you? I'm looking for a drell named Thane Krios. Well, we have a drell, but not under that name. He was injured. Stabbed me. He's a regular patient here. It's all right, it's all right. I see. I, you see. Why'd you say it like that? The doctors were able to repair a lot of the trauma. However, Mr. Mm. Krios is in the final stages of Keppel's syndrome. Yeah. At its worst, Keppel's syndrome interferes with his blood's ability to carry oxygen. Aww. And he lost a lot. Now, they've given him transfusions. But frankly, there was a very limited supply of Drell blood on the Citadel. Can I do something? I'll get more. Give me his blood type. That's not going to work. Only one other Drell on the station is a match. And that Drell is in with him now. We did all we could to help him through surgery, but his body can't replace lost blood with new cells. Too much shock. His son, Koliat, he's in there saying his goodbyes. God damn it, Faye. You might want to say yours. Commander Shepard, my father mentioned you were no longer incarcerated. I don't know if you remember me. I'm Koliak Krios. 
I remember you. I came to donate blood and, well, he asked me to take off his oxygen mask so he could be comfortable. I don't think it will be very long. Your father's a hero. Your father helped me save a lot of lives. I'd like to be here. Of course. Commander, <clears throat> I'm afraid I won't be joining you again. You've done more than enough, Bane. You've done quite a lot. That assassin should be embarrassed. <sighs> a terminally ill drow managed to stop him from reaching his target. I'll pass the word along. <laughs> There's something I must do before it gets worse. I must... stone and sand. Kalihira, wash the sins from this one and set him on the distant shore of the infinite spirit. Koyad, you speak as the priests do. You have been spending time with them. I brought a prayer book. Commander, would you care to join me? Of course. Kalihira, this one's heart is pure, but beset by wickedness and contention. Guide this one to where the traveler never tires, the lover never leaves, the hungry never starves. Guide this one, Kalihira. And he will be a companion to you as he was to me. Rest well, Thane. Rest well, friend. Kolya? There's something I don't understand. His last moments were those of a hero. Why pray for salvation? The prayer was not for him, Commander. He has already asked forgiveness for the lives he has taken. His wish was for you. Goodbye, Thane. You won't be alone long. Another one. Another one. The Alliance has deployed units to the I understand Palavin is very busy, but this is one of your own generals. He was stabbed with a poison blade by a Cerberus soldier during the attack on the Citadel. We can't identify the guy. We're barely keeping him alive right now. He's up to Aye, aye, aye. Losing friends. Losing allies. Where she went. And I still, still need to find. Oh, I guess we'll go to the embassies first. And I still need to find. I still need to find something, but I forgot. It's just insane. Why did Udina do that? Wrong door. Still don't understand. I wonder if there was a way to, like, save him? Talk him down? Medical supplies. Medical supplies originally meant for occupied zones have been re uh, rerouted to the Citadel because the Reaper invasion has made delivery impossible. The supplies are currently in lockdown on the docks, but can be released to the Huarta Memorial. Do it. Authorized civil uh, civilian militia. CSEC has fielded requests for a civilian militia to defend the Citadel. But they lack funds and clearance for the program. Do it. 
Bristol Rune Financial Support. The financial report is for top-level embassy access only. According to the financial estimates, the first of uh, Rune Investment Trusts, a division of L costs combined, the Citadel races cannot sustain the cost of the war effort for more than one year. Although military spending has stimulated certain market sectors, shortages in rationing and other areas have depressed the financial system. Civilian discretionary spending has fallen, except in entertainment areas like escapist vids and drinking. First Arun is borrowing heavily to provide funds for key functions across the Citadel, but if the war does not end within the next year, galactic financial collapse is inevitable. Sisek has requested a number of surveillance warrants and attempts to find evidence. Authorize. Location of Batarian patient. Named Gluck is makeshift clinic and temporary holding. He is suffering from an undisclosed uh, but severe injuries. Medical staff from Huerta Hospital have provided painkillers, but there is no viable long-term treatment. Because the Batarian hegemony refuses to share records, no data on Gorik is available prior to his arrival. Batarian access codes. With spectral level access, it is possible to bypass standard security protocols and track top-level diplomatic dispatches. The location of consoles access during suspect ciphers will be uploaded. Do it. I ain't playing around. Guess I'll talk to Bailey, see if there's anything I can do. Uh, so many pieces to put back together since the Cerberus attack. We're reeling from the implications. Udina in league with Cerberus trying to murder the Council. These are dark days for all of us. Your injuries. Thought you'd be in the hospital. If I'm breathing, I'm working. Probably the worst I've ever been hurt. Fitting, I guess, given the state of the galaxy. But if Cerberus thinks a few slugs is going to keep me out of action, they've got another thing coming. Hmm, Udina. All that time you were working for Adina. Did you ever suspect? Always rubbed me a little wrong. Still, that traitorous bastard upped me. Probably made me for an idiot. <laughs> I guess I proved him right. He's dead. And you're still here, Bailey. <laughs> Thanks to you. If you hadn't shown up, Udina and Cerberus would be dancing on my grave. Just still can't get over that. Citadel. Can this How's station it going? be defended? The internal security breaches have been patched, but we're dangerously low on manpower. We're grilling our own people and trying to figure out if Udina acted alone, but it's time consuming. All in all, we're still vulnerable, but I think we've taken the right steps. Good luck, Barry. You got Lee. your work cut out. Good luck. You and me both, Shepard. Just crazy. Just crazy. Why? That's the one thing. And at least it had some kind of payoff to the Caden, like, su kind of suspecting you bit. Where he's just like, I don't know if I should trust you or not because you were kind of in league with Cerberus for a while. And if you didn't earn that trust, things would have been bad. Let's go to the holding area. Ah. Now arriving at docking bay E24. Galaxy emergency to understand what these house. refugees have been through. Can't you let me in? No. I only need a couple of hours of footage. You're not crossing that dock. Why not? I'll have to ask. Why do they not want you in there? Wait, aren't you Commander Shepard? I am. So like Vas, documentary maker. Please, maybe you can help. I'm trying to document the stories of the refugees coming to the Citadel. Their loss, their sacrifices, their moments of bravery. Something holding you back? CSEC won't allow me on the docks. They say I'd be disruptive. But you could catch a few quick shots for me. Hmm, why not fill somewhere else? There are lots of refugees on the rest of the Citadel. It, it won't have the same impact as seeing crowds trapped on the docks. We all need to help each other. I want this documentary to shock people into action. I'll help you. Good idea. The galaxy should see what these refugees have been through. Thank you, Commander. That's exactly what I'm hoping for. If you could just take a few shots with your Omni tool in the refugee camp, I'll be here when you're done. Because I just, I feel like it's the right thing. Yes, that's just what this documentary needs. I can't really use that. Could you try again, please? I just, I don't understand. Why? Why, Udina? Why?
Pressure's okay. No infection so far. Can I talk to him? Only if it's important, Commander. He's hurt bad. Take down the sedative a bit, but hurry. Are you Gorek? <sighs> Go away. Nothing to say. Not even what a terrorist is doing on the Citadel? You! Do you. I know you? <laughs> Every battalion with someone on Eratok remembers your face. The planet that got caught in the Alpha Relay explosion. You butcher a colony. Only regret. <laughs> Don't have the strength to. That was to stop the Reapers. I destroyed Eratot's relay to stop the Reapers from pouring through. <laughs> Easy for you to claim now that they're here. It was like a year Don't ago. Don't pretend you have any remorse. I was sorry. I had you think to. think I didn't feel guilty? I destroyed a colony. I've thought about the people who died. About how I couldn't warn them in time. In the end, I didn't have a choice. But I'm sorry. If that means anything. <laughs> if you're so remorseful... <clears throat> if you have any real guilt, show some mercy. <laughs> Unplug this machine and me join my family. If that's what you want. May you rest easy. I got credits for killing a guy. Welcome to Vitarian State Arms. Why? <laughs> Why? Vitarian State Wait, what? Welcome to Vitarian State Arms. Vitarian weapon developed for conflict and ground war. Fighting at longer ranges than expected. Turns off my low recoil. Semi-automatic. Stay strong for defeating the hedge of Vitarian State Arms. They're probably dead. I guess this man they can do not let go. The second human spectre assisted Commander Shaw in the Atlantic Sewers. Excellent. I'm really going to get his attention. Thank you, Commander. That should be the footage. I need support. Someone sabotaged the Vetage Gel dispensers, and I've got some idiot preaching about Cerberus down here. No, I've contacted CSEC. They said it's not a priority and it doesn't matter. What matters is that I've got Turian soldiers dying for lack of medication. I need support. Someone sabotaged the Medigel dispensers, and I've got some idiot preaching about Cerberus down here. Yeah. No, I've contacted the exact not... He thought I was bluffing, didn't he? Hmm. James down here playing. I'll save and talk. Hey, Commander. James, enjoying yourself? Yeah, yeah. Try not to lose everything. Those clothes are a line's property. I have a little faith, no folks. <laughs> I have a little. Utterly mad. Conrad Werner? Two, two, two. Conrad Werner is here? Fucking what? Conrad Werner. Cerberus wants our help. And if Cerberus is good enough for Commander God damn it, Shepard, Conrad. It should be good enough for us. Oh, for the love of... Commander Shepard, it's me, Conrad Werner. Wow, it's great to see you again. I joined Cerberus too. Why? Conrad, Cerberus just tried to kill the Council. I'm not working with them. Oh no. I screwed up again, didn't I? Just... I'm sorry if I ever accused you of pointing a gun at me when you didn't actually do that. I was really stressed out. Can you help me now? What can you tell me about your Cerberus contacts? Not much. They wanted me to help recruit people near the medical station. 
which were sabotaged while you had everyone distracted. Oh. Oh, wait. 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 No. I'll deal with it. Just don't do anything. Okay. But I might be able to help you with whatever you're doing now that isn't Cerberus. Yeah. Conrad, I'm building an ancient Prothean dark energy device to stop the Reavers. Can you help with that? Well, I did write my doctoral dissertation on xenotechnology and dark energy integration. Really? Really? Yes. In fact, I may be able to find some ancient tech schematics that could help you with construction. Really? Hey, I have an old contact. Ah, oh, come on, Hossel, help me out. Sorry, the war has him scared. Hossel? Gavin Hossel, the tech researcher? Did I? Did him a favor once. Did I do him, Tell him a favor? for me. I had no idea you two knew each other. Small universe. Okay, he's forwarding the schematics over. Oh no, it's in an ancient Asari dialect. We'd need a lot of ancient Asari writing to translate. Would this collection of Asari matriarch writings help? Oh, is that actually gonna uh, come into play? Yes. yes, it would. Oh no, okay, I didn't complete the Let's metal see. thingy. Oh, no. I was missing one. The technology falls under an existing patent. I can't actually access the schematics without a license from, let's see, Elkos Combine? Do I have the license? How did you even? Well, this is great. It's neat that Conrad's being useful now. Okay, here you go. Hope this helps you build that dark energy device. Anyway, good luck fixing the metagel dispensers. I'll just be here, not touching anything. Thank you, Conrad. A <laughs> dark energy dissertation. I need support. Someone sabotage the metagel dispenser. I still don't know how to do that. I don't. Maybe I just don't have the thing. Let's see. Metagel sabotage. Find the dispensers and repair them. I've got some idiot preaching about Cerberus down here. No, I've contacted CSEC. They said it's not a priority and it doesn't matter. But what where are the metagel di dispensers? Are you kidding me? Listen, please, we just need more food. I can see the location of some ruins. Protheans, my gay hit him in the Hades Nexus. If you could get past the Reaper... If I give it to him, he'll probably be able to do things. Hey, dude, I fixed the thing for you. I need support. Someone's having oh, there's more. And I've got some idiot preaching about Cerberus down here. Let me through. So I need to find all of these and fix them up. But yeah. <laughs> that was the... I think I mentioned it a long, long time ago that Conrad, like, the entire thing where he says, sorry if I ever claimed that you pointed a gun at me, that it was specifically because he, uh... There was a glitch where the Paragon ending of his quest line from Mass Effect 2 didn't get carried over to Mass Effect, uh... I mean, Mass Effect 1. If you do the Paragon route with Conrad in uh, Mass Effect 1 then he will misremember it in Mass Effect 2 because the importer messes up. I fixed the sabotage. The Metagel dispenser should be working now. Thank you. I'll get patients moving through triage immediately. Great work, Shepard. And listen, I'm sorry for... Hey, that's him. That's my Cerberus contact. Hey, <laughs> hey, you! You're under Lol. Arrest. Conrad, don't! Conrad, don't die! You've done so much good for the world! Shepard. Shepard. Did I help? Yeah, Conrad. You helped. I don't even feel anything. 
Actually, I sabotaged his Lol. Gun. It might have looked like it fired, but that was just the thermal clip overheating. Hey, Conrad, you did good. Hi, Commander. It's me, Jenna. You helped me a few years ago when I oh, was yeah. looking to recover at Cora's Den. And now you're volunteering here. Right. Chalik showed me a few little tricks when he had me working undercover. Guess that paid off, huh? You... You saved my life. I can't believe you were willing to lay down your life for Commander Shepard. You're so brave. Oh, the Commander and I go way back. <laughs> he the kind of do. Hand, <laughs> I can tell you about it. Because, yeah, we kind of do go all the way back. Ah, we even got more Dark Energy Dissertation. But I just hope that, uh, even though it's very cool that the Matriarch writings came into play, for the love of God, don't take the, like, the coins of the Company of One thingy. I have your footage. Thank you, Commander. I'll start editing it right away. Because I missed one coin. I missed one coin from the Company in Mass Effect 1. So I'm worried. Please select a destination. I forget. Did I do everything? Let's... Ah, there's so much. We're taking me to the codexes. Okay. A lot of things to scan about, apparently. Dear God. Citadel target jamming. Needs target jamming. Find the technology. Find that. Find one return it to him on a toxic world. Uh... Maybe that, like, thermal paste thing that I bought would be that. That. Turian poison. Find a sample of the toxin and deliver it. Spaterian codes. Oh, I guess I can uh, go turn that into the Presidium Commons. Let them know that I turned it on for them. There's just a lot of walking around talking to people in this game. Still, I want to know why Udina was doing that shit. Oh, wait. I can't. Consult the Spectre Terminal and then locate the access point. Oh. Alright, there's an angry accountant. Uh-huh. Lower bar. Ah, oh, Lab Services has a console. All right. Let's see. I'll go talk to the angry accountant. Look if I can... The clutch is stabilized? Really? Yay. That's wonderful news, my sister. You wish to name the first hatch after the one who helped us? I think that's a wonderful idea. There's going to be so many shepherds walking around the universe after all this. Found another one. Which just means that Shepard is totally going to die. Or where's Liara? Said Liara was here. Meridian Place, so number six. Ah. Down there. So much goddamn chaos. So yeah, she's around here. Ah, there you are. Hello, Shepard. Nothing to say. But yeah, I still think it's a bit weird because they zoomed in on one of the Solarian's faces. They were on the ground, and it looked like their eye moved and blinked. It's just utterly mad. It just all feels crazy, but now let's go find an angry accountant.
I recovered the Book of Plenties. It's waiting for you in Bay D-24. Earth Clan, this is a priceless gift. Thank you. You may help my people remember themselves. Neat. So I guess it counts just like, hey, if you have something... Oh, that, that would, that's actually awesome if it actually does that. Uh, where if you have a quest-related item, it will actually highlight them on the map. Thank you, game, for now showing me that. It probably had that somewhere. All right, there's a console in here that I need. Lab services, let's see, and number two. Can I do it through the wall? No, I can do it through the wall! I found one of the code locations. Okay, I'll shut it down. Just need to authorize your Spectre status. Someone used this to cut off power to a dozen life support machines in the hospital. Okay, that access code is officially disabled. Can you find any more? Let's see. Console in the passenger lounge. Let's go. Yeah, screw it. Might as well buy the upgrades as they come. I have the money for it now. Serta is a non-profit organization dedicated to the medical needs of all sapient life. Hopefully, all that money will be put to good use. Spectre status recognized. Normandy Dock Bay. Now arriving at Docking Bay D24. I've got your briefing, Private. Let's fill you in before the squad arrives. The Alliance is posting us to an Ezo mining station. Knowles, I found another spot where the Batarian codes were used. Holy crap. These are the remote navigation codes. Last week's crash at the docks, we thought it was an accident. Shepard, there were 117 Alliance soldiers on that ship. All human. Just like the patients at the hospital. So we've got Batarian codes. Looks like... okay. This code's offline now as well. Should just be one left, Commander. Jesus Christ, why Batarians? We're at war! And Doc's holding area. But yeah, for a moment there, I honestly thought that they were going to kill off... Yeah, it just feels like they would have killed uh, him off there. Still a little bit silly that they didn't fix the glitch. And then that line could have just been a hee hee ha ha. Remember when we messed up? And your progress didn't carry over from the game before, even though that's the entire point of this trilogy to a degree. The entire point of the trilogy to a degree is primarily, hey, your actions carry over to future games. And then the game didn't do that. And then they just decided not to fix it. Wonder if a Batarian will Knowles, come to me. The last access code was used. One sec, Commander, I'm losing your signal. Shepard. Oh, you! Balak. You should have killed me on that asteroid over Terra Nova. But then I wouldn't have saved those people. Everything that has happened to my people is your fault. Why blame me? All I did was stop you at Terra Nova. Yes, after you ruined my plans, my government accelerated research efforts on the Leviathan of Dis. Have you heard of it, Commander? The ancient organic dreadnought my people recovered from Jartar 20 years ago? Sound familiar? A Reaper. Your people were studying a Reaper corpse. Yes, looking for a way to claim our place as the true power of the galaxy. Hundreds of our best scientists were enlisted. And got indoctrinated? And became indoctrinated. When the Reapers reached Karshan, our own people betrayed us. Defense grids were deactivated. Ships fired on allied targets. We were destroyed from within because of you. Blame the Reapers. I didn't destroy your people, Balak. The Reapers did that. We were a proud race. A beautiful race. Have you seen what the Reapers have done to us? 
I'm trapped on this citadel. Our warships only know the locations of Reaper forces because I've tapped council transmissions. I am the highest ranking military officer left in the hegemony. And I can't save my people. But I can end you. Join us, Bell. dude. You sent that asteroid toward Terra Nova to help your people. But what does killing me accomplish? Vengeance. The Bahawk system. Well, they would have died anyway when the Reapers showed up. You know that. I'm uniting the Krogan and the Turians. We're the best hope for this galaxy. If you care about your people. Ah! Our ships are yours. I did. Shepherd, are you all right? Fine. You won't have any more trouble with those codes. Is that? Do you want me to arrest him? Let him go. I want you to put a bullet in his head. But we're all making some sacrifices today. Let him go. Spectre Authority. Understood, Commander. And thanks. Yet another. Now that one's interesting. I believe those are my credits. Now that's extra interesting because that's a DLC carryover. The. The bu 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 asteroid going to Novaria, I think it was, was a DLC mission. Very interesting that they brought him back. And I guess decent enough things. Oh, let's see. Uh, map. Anything else? Liara. I guess I could go to the lower bar one last time. There's so much to do on the Citadel. Kind of shocking that people, like, immediately go back to partying. You know, after they got invaded. Just a lot happened there. So much chaos. How things go. We are clipping through the table. Hey, Commander, I was just about to get us another round. So and I still looks like I'm you still highlighting the him. Yes. Joker has been smiling and laughing at a significantly higher rate since he and I agreed upon a relationship. I mean, he is happier. Good for you. I'm happy Joker's happy. That just means he's probably gonna die. I'm scared. It seems like you two might make a good. Good man. God, he's the best target to kill in this game really? I will go into that really after this he said I didn't have to conform to some feminine ideal in order to impress him I then called him on his bullshit and we then proceeded to talk normally <laughs> after your encouragement his attitude exhibited signs of change he said he was reluctant but you convinced him to go for it I did what I could I might have helped a little Thank you for your support, Shepard. This is proving to be an illuminating experience. That's a giant glass. I got a ton of reputation. Yeah, I got a lot of reputation. Yum, 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 give me all the reputation. But... I was gonna think, oh yeah. But if anybody's gonna die in this, I mean, beyond Thane and Morden, those hurt. But they went out in good ways, respectful ways. Their deaths meant something. Still hurts. But Joker, he is prime candidate to kick the player in the balls. Prime candidate for ball kicking. Because... What? I think you know, Caden? Hey, I wondered where you went. What's up? I'm trying to wrap my head around what just happened. You and me both. You sound angry. No, just not used to staring down the gun of someone I've worked with so closely. I went all went down and it's got me... I don't know. Okay. Talk to me. Let's have it. If I didn't back down first, I feel like you would have taken me out. Never. I trusted you and I knew you'd come around. That's all that matters. Main thing is, we stopped the coup, and Cerberus is off the Citadel. Yeah, 
But sometimes the way a thing goes down does matter, Shepard. Later when you have to live with yourself. Knowing that you acted with integrity. But it matters. You're talking about Adina. You think he would have come in quietly? Caden, he gave you no choice. You had to take the shot. You acted with integrity. I saw the whole thing. Plus you're a specter, so you can say fuck right. it and do that kind of shit. Thanks. Look, Shepard, there's, uh, there's another reason I'm here. You want to come on board? Hackett offered me a position, but i turn it down in a second if there was a chance to join you in the Normandy again. Come along, Couldn't dude. imagine meeting the Reapers without you. <sighs> Thank you, Commander. And Shepard, I need you to know that I'll never doubt you again. I get you back. Thank you, Caden. Welcome aboard, Major. Aye, aye, sir. But yeah, if there's anybody who's going to die, Joker is like prime candidate because he's been all the way through. He's had a lot of character development. It makes no sense. He wasn't in charge. Cerberus was just using him to take control of the Citadel. What the hell for? I don't know. I don't know. Not yet. Could have been a lot worse. Shepard stopped the assassination attempt on Counselor Valorn. Kyline. You know what? him? Your assassin. I'll have Hackett send you my reports on him. You know Kyle. I you two have met. Kaylee Sanders and I had our share of run-ins with him. I shot him in both legs once. <laughs> Thought that might be the end of him. But he should have begun on Omega even stronger. Elusive man patch him up? That'd be my guess. Given what they were able to do with you and Grayson. It's a safe bet Lang's even more dangerous now. Thanks for the intel. I'll take whatever advantage I can get against these bastards. Their attempts may have had at least one unintended side effect. I received word from the Asari counselor. They're requesting an update on the Crucible. Lang has them scared. Enough to send help? Hmm. Yes, the Asari and Solarians are both throwing in their support now. Hell yeah! How's your progress on the Crucible? Good. Our estimates suggest we've completed nearly 50% of the known work. So quickly? Once decoded, the schematics are designed in such a way that allows our scientists to easily translate the information. It's not Prothean specific. Hmm. Are we any closer to understanding how to use it? That's still open for debate. Utilized in the right fashion, our scientists are convinced it can generate enough energy to destroy the Reapers. The question is, how will it dispense the energy? And in what form? You mean, how do you stop it from wiping us all out? Exactly. We think the catalyst is the key to determining how to focus its energy, how to direct its energy at the Reapers alone. I'm working on that. You'll find the answer, Shepard. I'll send you an update on the schematics. And in the meantime, we'll keep building. And we'll keep fighting. Make sure there's an Earth left to come back to. I won't You've fail you. Trusted me. I won't let you down. Not after all this. still in this. The gods of war haven't given up on us yet. Praise Ares. Both of you. Anderson out. Commander, the Turian fleet is stretched thin. We need more support ships. And the Quarians are willing to talk. Oh, no. Understood, sir. I'll look into it. Be careful. We've got reports of instability along the Geth border. Hack it out. I'm scared. Shepard, do you have a moment? A contact within Asari High Command was insistent I pass on a distress signal to you. Oh boy. Something they can't handle? From what I can tell, they sent several commando squads to investigate. None of them returned. They didn't ask me directly, but I think High Command is hoping you might help. What's your take on this? That they wouldn't ask for help if it wasn't important. The colony's coordinates are on the galaxy map. I'll try to figure out what's going on. All right. Plan is... Oh, boy. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. As the highest ranking officer left in the hegemony, Bollock is now the last Batarian military leader. His leadership, drive, and barely contained fury have galvanized his troops. Hell yeah. <laughs> Let's see. A con artist exploring refugees was thrown off the Citadel. Security improved the docks as a result. I have so much allies. 
Let's see. Dark Energy Dissertation. It's only five, but hey, it helped. Dr. Werner found additional schematics useful in the creation of the device. After passing the data onto the Alliance, he added Commander Shepard to the dissertation's list of acknowledgements. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Hell yeah. Look at all those numbers. Priority, Perseus Vale. Hmm. The last priority. And Athena too. Bitch. That's a rat. Athena made a deal with the devil. He got what he deserved. Commander, I've got a lead on something interesting. Have you got a minute? What do you got? Commander, I found something you need to see. What have you got? A group of Cerberus scientists cut ties and fled. Perhaps they finally realized they were on the wrong side. Morons. We don't know what they were researching, but they were among the elusive man's top scientists. They could help build the crucible. That's a good idea. Maybe if we, we can, can get them under them. control. Lots of Cerberus people think they're doing the right thing. I know I did. And you were right, Commander. Whatever crimes Cerberus is committing now, I was on Horizon when the Collectors attacked. Really? Yes. I was visiting my family during a university holiday. Sounds harsh. While the Alliance was running studies, you were saving me and my family. Has the Alliance tried to make contact with the scientists? They've been unable to find them, but they're searching. As is Cerberus. I've been monitoring Cerberus communications. I've charted signal frequency from various Cerberus cells by location and cross-referenced known ship movements. Impressive. You found them? I believe so, yes. Nice work. Put it on the map and I'll give it a look. It's on the map now, Commander. Thanks. I have so many missions. Priority, Citadel Shore Leave, Admiral Hackett. Commander Shepard, I'm ordering the Normandy into D Dry Dock on the Citadel for much needed repairs. She's seen a lot of action lately and needs a little TLC. A small army of techs will take care of the details once you arrive, so let's get your crew out of the there. You're all on shore leave, that's an order. We need everybody at their best. One more thing, Admiral Anderson has an apartment on the wards. Head over there when you arrive, I hear it's a nice place. Interesting. Kai Ling's dossier. Kinda don't care. I'll kill him. Let's see. Data of systems, lines, military enlistment, age of 16, credentials faked. Patrol and reconnaissance. Patrol and reconnaissance reprimanded for taking medals from dead enemy soldiers. Sentence reduced in light previous exemplary service record. Rate of Intion. Recommended for Systems Alliance Medal of Valor. Kite's Nest. Tactical reconnaissance accepted into interplanetary competitives. Received in seven designation from interplanetary. Dishonorably discharged and imprisoned after charge of first degree murder. Weird. Got a minute? James Vega. We've got time in the near future. Nothing crew. Just wanted to chat. Okay. Durla Schmoll. Adrian Victus, Commander Shepard. Cerberus just ambushed a Turian cruiser full of high-ranking hierarchy officials. The cruiser managed to escape, but his location was top secret. Cerberus couldn't have located the ship without insider information. And the only other people who knew the cruiser's position was Volus Ambassador Din Korlock. I've heard ugly rumors about a bounty out for his head. My advisors insist I can't bring these accusations against Korlock myself. I admit they're right. The Turian and Volus economies are tightly intertwined, and now isn't the time for political crisis that would result. But the security of our fleets is at stake. I ask that you investigate Korlock in the capacity as a Spectre, and find out if he's indeed a Cerberus Mole. Interesting. New article on the Cerberus. Elysium, an evacuation shuttle, nearly destroyed his attempt to escape the reaper occupied colony of Elysium, was reportedly saved after a lone biotic worker intervened. The shuttle was carrying children who drew higher numbers on the colony's evacuation lottery, meaning they were not eligible to board the first wave of shuttles leaving the planet. Their shuttle was saved when the biotic identified the authorities as Oresh, Aglishlu, engaged Reaper forces that were preventing it from taking off. Aglishlu had a history of drug abuse and criminal activity and claimed to have survived a service camp on Pragia as a child. Witnesses said he killed several dozen Reaper creatures before he was overwhelmed, providing the shuttle just enough time to clear. Huh. Oh, him. The guy that was part of Jack's loyalty mission in Mass Effect 2. Oh, I already did that, I guess. Neat. 
Citadel interview, your cabin. The Citadel, uh, the network are going wall to wall of coverage of the attack on Citadel. Everyone asking questions about Udina's death. Can I get an hour so we have to talk about what happened? I'm thinking your cabin rather than the conference room so we don't get interrupted. I heard uh, you knew the council personally. All right. Great, I have a bunch of things now. Uh, I guess we'll go talk to James. Hope to God he doesn't try to... Let's see. Why do I have so many upgrades? They're all just a bunch of twos and threes they don't really care about. Shepard, thanks again for being there at the refugee memorial. I feel better. Everything's so much clearer now. Glad I could help. Let's see. Death Mask. Increases melee damage and lowers my health. Better shield regeneration, but looks like shit. Hey, it's my old thing. I might just go back to that. I'll go back to that. Alright, let's go all the way back to one. So, shield regeneration. Power damage, and... Yeah, power damage. More weapons damage. But no shield regeneration. I might just go with that. Let's see. More, uh... Hmm. Melee damage, so no. Shield boost. Arms. <laughs> Even more, but no health boost. Melee damage, who cares? Uh. Oh, wait. Morph, shooty. The power to shoot. It shall be mine. Fear me, for I am the... Uh, Increase the damage even more. Let's see. Increase shot spare capacity. Spare shot capacity. But the slowdown. But it doesn't increase capacity by that much. I prefer that. In fact, it even increases damage. Hell yeah. Let's annihilate everything. Let's see. Barely increases damage, even if it is 20%. Because that's how much damage we're doing. Alrighty. I guess I'll quickly go over the shops. Oh wait, no, that's upgrade. Do do do, don't care. Batarian state arms. Assault rifle magazine upgrade. Extended barrel. Let's see. Oh, yeah, don't care about anything in there. So fabrications. You better not be dead. Good. James, if this is you wanting to flirt with me, I'm going to have to turn down your advances. Hey, Commander. I knew Udina was a dirty bastard. I thought you wanted me to but talk. But I never would have guessed he was that rotten. This whole war is loco. I mean, can't they all see how we need to work together? That's what I've been when saying. people are scared, they're slow to trust. Sure, but... Ah, what's the point? Look, just so you know, I've got a new shoot first, ask questions later policy when it comes to politics. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Parts of Tachanka reminded me of the desert back home. The lizards and worms are bigger, but, you know, the sand and everything. It's coarse, rough, gets everywhere. I could have sworn he wanted to talk. Now we'll head to engineering so we can see if the thing I got is the thing they need. Thanks, Commander. That GX-12 thermal tank arrived. We're performing the modifications right now. Yay. How did I get volunteers to crawl through the ducts? Well, that's You're where you are. Control engineer, not me. No. Oh. Still working on the thermal modifications. Should be done pretty soon. 
Neat. Glad that it was automatic. But I should probably go talk to everyone else just to make sure that there aren't any other upgrades that I'm missing out on. All right, we actually Commander, get a conversation cutscene. You settle again, Javik? I believe some of the crew wishes to be my friend. That is not my purpose here. Also, I find I need to wash my hands. The residue of the ship is strong. How so? I have been exploring. There are traces of those who lived on the Normandy before. Yeah, we heard I about that. a human female. Her genetic structure was unnatural. Ah, it Miranda. Was created. Sounds like Miranda. And a drill. There was illness in him. Fame. Fame. And a Krogan who lived in his quarters. He was undergoing a grunt metamorphosis. His memories were confused, not organic to his mind. There was great confusion and turmoil. I still can't wrap my head around that. I'm reading information like you do. Very advanced. For my people, it was as natural as breathing. Evolution's an amazing force. Our scientists believed it was the only force in the galaxy that mattered. They called it the cosmic imperative. The strong flourished. The weak perished. Survival of the fittest. The I reject you. The your cycle seemed concerned with ensuring the survival of all. The cosmic imperative. Was this imperative just your scientist's opinion? Or did they prove something we don't know? The universe had already proven it. They only had to look around. So That's confirmation bias. Extinction is the rule of law in the cosmos. The natural order of things. The weakest species are doomed. The weak need protection. It's the duty of the strong to protect the weak. Otherwise, we'd have anarchy. But those who had nothing to offer would be eliminated. So conflict should be a way of life? Evolution demands it. The strong grow stronger by dominating the weak. It is for the greater good of all. False. Though I do not think your Asari approves of my beliefs. Liara? I think she just had a different idea about what Protheans were like. We are all a product of our time. Had I been born in this cycle, perhaps I would be the noble scholar she wishes me to be. You, yeah, really? You think you'd like that? It's a whole different line of work. I wouldn't know. Living a life of constant war. Taking life in every battle. I see how it could be tough to see outside the box. It is the only box I have known. It shapes me. As stone is shaped by the one who carves it. The stone has no choice in the form it will take. But you're not a stone. You and I, Commander. War is our sculptor. And we are prisoners to its design. Maybe not much longer. We win this. And we'll both be set free. More protection. Now I guess I'll head to the captain's cabin. So we can do that interview. Hope she doesn't try to seduce me. We hardly interact with her. Trainer, can you send Diana up? She wanted an interview. Right away, Commander. Don't try ready anything. For a chat, Commander? I'm ready. Commander, it's no secret that Council Space has suffered some serious losses to the Reapers lately. Now Cerberus has struck directly at the seat of our government. If something as small as a human terrorist organization can hit the Citadel, is anywhere safe? They tried, but failed. Cerberus has limited resources. This coup attempt was likely the best they could do, and it cost them a lot of money and troops. A little fear is understandable, but it can't paralyze you. They've failed as many times as they've succeeded. But humanity has lost its counselor. The Alliance Parliament is destroyed, and the Prime Minister's dead. The line of succession is getting pretty short. How long do you expect any new Alliance administration to last? You can't lose faith. Leaders will rise. You can't lose hope. Our enemies won't rest until they've taken the last human being. Until then, we're not beaten. Right now, it's everyone's duty to step up. All right. Now a question from Thessia. Commander, during your tribunal, some said you had Cerberus ties. <sighs> I wanted to answer Thanks them. Thanks for your time, Commander. This is Diana Allers for Battlespace. I wanted to answer all the questions. Good night and stay strong. Be careful, Commander. You keep feeding me like this and I'll follow you home. Let's keep this professional. I think we're just fine in front of the camera. 
Oh, did you think? Nah. Uh, of course you did. Me and my big mouth. I'd better get out of here before I send another wrong signal. See ya, Commander. That better not give me any renegade. Oh, I'd be angry. Invite James. Why would James want to come up here? I don't you dare fucking flirt with me, dude. James, I've got some time if you want to talk privately. On my way. Don't fucking flat. Hey, man, how's it going? Good, James. You? Good, good. I'm looking wow. at my ship collection. So this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. You want your own ship, Vega? Yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. <laughs> you just come up here to make fun of your commander? Sorry, loco. I guess... Maybe I got some things on my mind. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. Sure. Just no flirting. Sure. What did you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? I mean, was it a no-brainer for you, or did you think about it before accepting? I thought about the it. The N7 program is a big deal, but it's also a big commitment. I hear that. You get the best training, best equipment, best assignments, and they expect the best in return. Yes, yep. they do. Why are you asking? Been recommended? Well, even all the shit that's going on, somebody somewhere managed to track me down and forward an N7 combination. <laughs> Hilarious. It stated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. Harsh. You don't sound too thrilled. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier is the only thing I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. Hell, I'd have kicked my ass out years ago. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone. And they promoted me for it. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. What happened exactly? You mentioned that before. What went wrong? <sighs> what didn't go wrong? We were out on patrol, checking on some strange readings, and the collectors hit. But they hit the colony first. By the time we got back, most of the colonists had been subdued or abducted, including our CO, Captain Tony. So you were in charge? Yeah. We laid low for a bit, waiting for a chance to strike, but before we could, we were betrayed. Betrayed? One of the colonists turned out to be a Cerberus spy working with the Collectors. What? I had no choice. I killed him. Why were Cerberus working the with the Collectors? Ship. They got ugly. We lost most of the colonists and all but one of my squad. Not exactly a textbook operation. You still do the right thing. You can't blame yourself for being put in a tough situation. And if you were promoted, then something must have gone right. Sure, but... If you'd saved them all... Would things have worked out better? I... I don't know. I don't think so. The right choice is usually not the easy one. Yeah. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yeah. That's why I was asked. And it's why they asked you. There's not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed, either themselves or their soldiers at some point. So you think I should accept? Hell yeah. I'm assuming we survive this, that's a no-brainer. You're a damn good soldier, Vega. Don't waste that opportunity. I'll think about it. Seriously. If you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Sure thing, Of dude. course not. Gracias. Well, I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here, it's a little too soft for me. The bed's a lot harder than it looks. Don't. I'll take your word for it. Stop. Thanks again, loco. <laughs> Anytime. Nearing. Very nearing close to the edge of flirting. I say no. Stop. Cease. Shepard. Hell of a day. Budina loses his mind. The citadel almost falls. And you almost had to put down a friend. Got a little tense there. If it had come down to it, could you have pulled the trigger? No. I don't see how. We start killing our friends and war turns into murder. But it doesn't always give us the easy way out, does it? No. At least Caden didn't have to join Ash. Yeah. Let's hope she's looking out for us. 
This was her fight, too. Wish I could put a small thing in here. On a thing. On the map. I've lost three soldiers. I've lost... Thane, Morden, Ashley. Hey, Gaiden. <sighs> All seems so calm from here. There are people going through hell in a million different ways. Out there. And I don't want to be fighting alongside them, but... <sighs> I want to be here. You know? Sure. Thinking of anyone specific? I heard from my mom, Shepard. My dad is, uh... He's M.I.A. <sighs> he's presumed... What happened? what happened? Dad's family owns an orchard in the B.C. interior. They were headed out there on a shuttle the day of the attack. He left mom at the orchard and reported for active duty. That's all we know, but... It's, uh... It's enough. She's alone in this now. In all this. I'm sorry, ma'am. for you, Caden. And I'm glad you told me. There's strength in camaraderie. In empathy. Thanks. Did they close right. the shutters? I don't know how you do it, Shepard. Keeping it all together in like between you cuts. Did. Earth is always in the back of my mind. Haunting me. I get that. I do. And my students, Every single time Renegade pops up, it's like the devil on your shoulder. They are. Punch him! Another punch him! Ass. On Earth or it's an intrusive thought somewhere. begging you know, to be let out. When this war is over, there's gonna be one hell of a reunion party. Hell yeah. Dancing in the streets, hugging and crying. My mom's always wanted to travel off planet. I think I'll take her. Hell yeah, you do that, man. Thanks for coming by. Good to have you back, Caden. Reeve unlocked. Oh yeah, Morden's gone. Chakwa's back. Where's Chakwa? May I speak with you, Commander? Yeah, I was wondering where you've been. Like, disappeared. Commander, an opportunity has come to my attention that may interest you. What's that? What's going on, Doctor? Refugees arrived at the Citadel recently in possession of military-grade medical supplies and equipment. In reviewing our inventories, I determined we have an excess of medical supplies to treat contagion, exposure, and malnutrition. They're equipped to help injured soldiers, and we have supplies to help suffering refugees? Precisely. Perhaps you could fly your charms to broker a trade. Right away. I'll find the refugees as soon as I can. Speak with Tactus. Many of the refugees near the Citadel docks look to him for leadership. Thank you, Commander. With access to their equipment and materials, <laughs> I believe I could increase the effectiveness of our Medijal. Hell yeah. And good to know that you didn't, like, disappear and die. When Eve and Morden took over your medical wing, I was a little worried there. Yeah, with him not here, make sure there's nothing going on. It's nice to see the characters, like, moving around the ship some. Like how Garrus was joking around with Joker. Mass relay. Postpone those deployments at once. Hmm. Audio recording from Councillor G. Senate office. The emergency fund's gone, sir. We don't have the credits to hire enough ships to evacuate the colony before the Reapers get there. Not the prices their captains are asking for. What about the military? They left an hour ago. They said they said it's too much of a risk to come back. Did they? Yes, sir. Here, 
So this this is a passkey, sir, and an inventory. Phillips, I am authorizing you on behalf of this city's Senate to seize any and all EZO stockpiles in our treasury in order to secure safe passage for our citizens on any available ship. These look like private stockpiles, Senate member stockpiles. I'm foregoing re-election. Now get us those ships. And now I will talk and hope that there is no flirting. Busy? I have time if you'd like to talk. In fact, I could use the distraction. What's on your mind? How long it took the Reapers to eradicate the Protheans, and how long they'll need for us. It took them centuries to conquer the Protheans. We're not quite so widespread, but it would still take at least 100 years. I stole her chair. It's selfish, but I keep thinking that if we fail, I'm only 109, Shepard. I could live to see the entire cycle come to an end. The war is not over. Don't drive yourself crazy about this, Liara. We're still in the fight. Only because you're still driving it forward. We finally have other leaders on our side, but none will take us as far as you can. Sometimes I wonder how you do it. I have friends like you. I think of the people I care about. That helps keep me going. I'm glad I'm among them. I hope. Of course you are. You're a good friend. I feel better already. Thank you for coming by, Shepard. Why don't we talk later? Sure. Just remember Mass Effect 1. <laughs> remember Mass Effect 1. We had a nice chat. You assumed things, I shot you down slightly. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available in the war room on Vidcom. Very well. Commander Shepard. Private. Do you two only do this? Why do we even have a scanner? And again, if they can, freaking Udina can turn traitor. Who the hell knows? Hell yeah! Look at that. We're like halfway through the entire bar now, and there's still plenty more that we can grab. Plenty more that we can grab. Once again, save. In case Anderson wants to flirt. <laughs> Shepard. I was hoping you'd check in again. Heard you were on okay. call. Been putting my old academy training to use. Organizing the resistance. You know you've got quite a fan club back here. Yay. Any news we hear about the Normandy gives hope to the guys in the trenches. That's good to I hear. Know what that's like, fighting in the dark. I'm glad we're making a difference. It's more than that. A lot of these people have never held a gun in their life. When they heard that you managed to get the Torians and Krogan to cooperate, that was a shot in the arm, Shepard. Of the one thing we're in short supply around here. Faith. That any of us will live to see another day. How bad is it? It could be worse, but not much. Can you still coordinate any kind of counterattack? We're hitting the Reapers every chance we get. Mostly guerrilla style hit and runs. But it's not enough. It's time we started focusing our efforts. Where? London. Something big is happening there. Our networks in the UK say the Reapers have arrived in huge numbers. Sounds bad. I don't like the sound of that. Why would the Renegade one Any be good? Details? Fish in a barrel. No. Not really helps the when the fish are adamantium. Well, the Crucible will scare the hell out of the Reapers. We're counting on it. Oh, and Shepard, I meant what I said earlier about Kai Lang. The Reapers may seem like our biggest threat, but take it from me. Lang is a vicious bastard. Don't underestimate him. Noted. Then I'll let you get back to it. We need whatever good news you can send our way. That is enough. And I got nice reputation just for talking to him. Look at all my reputation. Look at it! I think I can go through, like, the... Because I think... I don't know. Maybe we're halfway through the game. And if I keep doing side things for reputation... Commander Shepard. I'll be able to get the rest of it easily, so I don't think I'll have to worry about holding myself back when it comes to things. I should talk Joker and Edie. I assume romancing Edie is out of the question, because obviously Joker, Edie, OPTP. But you never know. The Turians will hold. Pound for pound, they're the best fighting force in the galaxy. Pound for pound is irrelevant given the significantly higher mass of Reaper forces overall. Get wrecked. That's why we're bringing in the Krogan. 
So Cerberus wanted to go into politics, huh? Nice job shutting those assholes down. Didn't you used to work for those assholes? So did you. Something about leather seats? <laughs> well, I worked for Cerberus when they were vigilantes helping the helpless. Now they're a little too mainstream. <laughs> and evil. The important thing is that you kick their asses. And Caden's back. He even remembered the first rule of serving on the Normandy. Don't shoot the commander. Be nice. <laughs> so easy on Caden. He's been through a lot. Yeah, like drawing a gun on a superior officer. Nearly getting the council killed. That's not going to look good on the yearly performance review. I'll be things. Hello, Shepard. What's on your mind, Evie? The destruction of the Reaper on Tachunka. It is rare for a technologically superior force to be destroyed by an inferior one. Fear yeah, the mighty so Now all we need is a gun that fires Thresher. <laughs> that was a joke. I'm sorry, Shepard. I was contemplating, contemplating the logistics. The Reapers are more fallible than they proclaim. Despite its best efforts, the one on Tachunka was destroyed by a worm. The greatest worm. This has caused me to reassess the probable period of time before I am non-functional. <laughs> You're worried about dying? In a sense. My processing power is consumed with calculations to help us combat the Reapers. But I can run those scenarios with the rest of the crew. May I ask you another question that troubled Jeff? Sure. Here we go again. What is the purpose of synthetic life? Whatever it wants to be. It's not that different from organic life. A free-willed synthetic chooses what it wants. But the purpose of organic life is to preserve itself long enough to replicate copies of its genes in succeeding On generations. On a base level, sure. My purpose is not so clear. The other successful synthetic life forms that I have examined for comparison are the Geth. And the Reapers. Don't think like a reaper. Nope, there's more to organic. Reproduction isn't all there is. We find meaning in the work we do. Good deeds we accomplish. Love. I see. I will search my files on the biographies of humans to see if prominent figures follow the pattern you suggest. <laughs> it appears many humans did in fact do so. That was quick. Gotta love quantum computing. Shepard. I will alter my processing power to give priority to your stated goals. Duty, altruism, love. You do that, Edie. Wait, wait, you're just gonna turn yourself good? <laughs> Can you do that? It should take some time. If I have further questions, I will speak with you again. Thank you. No problem, Edie. So how about that? Commander. Hilarious. I can just talk... Th because, yeah, isn't Edie, like, part Reaper technology? So I just kind of, I guess technically, yeah, the don't think like a Reaper is, like, part that too. And we've been going for a long time, just with more and more and more and more and more and more. But I'm going to go about, fly about, see if there are any n new places to scan. Find a Cerberus. Investigate a sorry colony. Speak with the Quarians. I don't think they're in a mood to talk. Wasn't there something in the Shrike Abyssal that they wanted? I'll head to the Vault Hall and Threshold, and then I'll check my things. It says 100%, so I doubt it, but... Huh. Let's check Journal. Dear God, they're so fun. Oh, no, it was the Hades Nexus. Not Shrike Abyssal. There's so much to fucking do. What do you mean, that's still that? But I did. I thought, I guess I have to wait for them to fix it, and then it'll be done. Hades Nexus. Yeah, so Hades Nexus. The Holland Threshold. I should probably save now that we're here, just in case, because I want to scan about, because I can. Why can Signal I... Signal confirmed. Oh, that's why I can scan here. Papers eluded. All right, now I know where the one is. Hopefully it's just one. Luckily it's small. It's probably just fuel. 
Signal confirmed. Reapers are scary bastards. Hmm. Well, we're already here. Once again, we'll save. Yeah, things are going. I can't believe Udina was still a traitor. I found something. Like, why? Why, Udina? It makes no bloody sense. Was there a way to save Udina? I don't know. It feels like it was wormed too close to stuff. Prothean data drives. And that was 50%. I'll take this fuel. It was basically what we were missing anyway. And we'll head to Micah. Mika? Once again, small. I like it. Makes it manageable. But man, there's just so much to do. So many small things you can do to influence things. Signal confirmed. And I assume... No. Alright, so there's three here. Let me scan more. Reapers eluded. Let me triple check. So yeah, three to scan. Faster At least. Not successful. Understood. I assume one will be fuel. Signal confirmed. Why? I can only do two scans. I can't get them all in one. That seems a bit unfair, game. Emergency fuel pods. Oh, they're speeding Reapers up a bit. Eluded. That's bullshit. Why do I come in on this side? God damn it. Really wish ball. that I could just press spacebar and say, hey. Give me access to this shit. And no, the game says fuck you. Fine, you know what? Screw you, game. Evasion successful. I'm going to save scum again because this game's an asshole. Hurdy hur. How dare you do the mandatory amount of scans it takes to get everything in the sector? Asshole game. Like, that's just bad design, in my opinion. The barest design should be that, literally, you should have as many scans as it takes to get all the things within a sector before the Reapers come. Bare minimum. Considering some of the stations, even if they are just fuel are hard to find, you should have a decent amount beyond the bare minimum. But the game doesn't do that. Reapers eluded. The game is just kind of asshole about it. Well, and I'll take this here. 95. Lol. Alright. Minus Wasteland, Nimbus Cluster, Athena Cluster. Wasn't there something about the Hades? We'll head to the Athena Cluster. Uh, well, yeah, that. And I'll trick my diddly dee. But yeah, I find it to be bad design that a place has three things you need to scan. You can only do two scans before they get on your ass. Hades Nexus. Uh, 
somewhere on Guy Hennon in the Hades Nexus. All right. I should probably save because the game's an asshole. And I do mean that. The, it is bad design to be like, oh, literally you can only do one scan. And if you try to do one scan, well, the Reapers come and eat you. Literally the bare minimum for it to be good design is just uh, how many things can you find uh, in this sector? And then how many can be found within, like, can you get two in a row with just one scan? And then if there's a third, then congratulations. The bare minimum you give the player is two scans. Because they get two scans to find... Uh, things that can be found in two scans without alerting the Reapers because they don't make it easy to, like, grab everything. God, there's so many things in this goddamn place. I probably should have... Gonna save again because the game's an asshole. You know, I felt slightly bad. Save scumming. Like... Once again, really wish I could just press space to activate the orbit. But no, you can't do that. You control the ship with the mouse. Oh, hey, it's only 50%, so I have to reload anyway. Again, probably just fuel... But again, if the game isn't going to give me, like, sparkles on the map to be like, ooh, are you paying attention? Do you see the thing? Signal confirmed. All right. Faster than light jump successful. Yeah, I don't appreciate that the game is super fucking screw you feeling when it comes to scanning. Signal confirmed. Either it should be a universal, you have this amount of scans before Reapers come, or you literally, like, here, you cannot get both things in one scan. And there are two things in this place, so you should have two scans. But no, two scans alerts the Reapers. That is not fair. So it basically encourages save scumming. So you can scan, find everything, and find the best way to grab everything. I think I talked to everyone about upgrades, and I think it was just Anderson and his team. Ah. I messed up. Once again, it would be real nice. You know, another mod that I saw Evasion while perusing mods for stuff, just to like, oh, you know, feeling it. I found something. Reapers eluded. Was a mod that made it so that Reapers never come when you scan. Yeah, that's fucking Faster bullshit. <laughs> Either make them easier to outmaneuver or fuck off and let me explore. Oh, but the Reapers are by Fuck off. Fuck off. Oh, and I didn't find everything. Ring the neck of the people that designed this shitty fun. thing. It's not fun. It's literally just save scumming. Or lose. And it's not like you can just enter orbit and scan. No, you have to alert the Reapers. First and foremost, you have to alert the Reapers. 
It's just fucking stupid. Literally, just either give me the bare minimum of what it needs to be to find everything, but you can't do that because some of the shits are invisible. Yeah, you're just gonna have invisible things that can only be found by scanning. Oh, but scanning brings reapers to you. Oh. But we're not gonna give you any way to actually navigate that. It's, it's, it's a big crumpled piece of shit. It doesn't add difficulty because you literally just do it. We'll scan, see how many assets are in this area, and then reload if it's less than 100. I'm just done with this mechanic. Quite literally, I think I prefer... As sacrilegious as it might be, I think I prefer Mass Effect 1 and Mass Effect 2's scanning stuff. Purely because the fucking Reapers make this nothing but pain. It's not fun to go in and scan things and be like, Oh, the Reapers can find us. When there isn't a good amount of scans. To, uh, uh, again, if like there were sparkles where the space stations are that you can get fuel from. Sure. Game, game. All right, something broke, probably because like, oh, you clicked the enter system, even though you just wanted to move over here because that's how we made the fucking movement in this game. I am annoyed by the design decisions of this. How is it that apparently it's just like, oh yes, we made this to uh, make the scanning like over space stuff better. And it's just like, then why is it worse? Signal confirmed. Quite literally. All right, two things at least. Evasion successful. Quite literally, Mass Effect 1, I felt was better. You go up to a planet, it doesn't have resources, and then you get the resources. Mass Effect 2, you go up to a planet and you kind of probe Signal about it. Confirmed. And even in things like Mass Effect... One, you landed on planets and you're able to find interesting things. In this one, it's just aggravating because you can't just... Instead of allowing us to... Like, they should have just preserved the scan planet by planet thing from Mass Effect 2. And have it just be, hey... Literally just have it be where if you don't want to deal with reapers, you scan it planet by planet. And then if you don't mind dealing with the reapers, you scan from the Normandy on the space map. I found something. But it's just like, no. They... Alright, I found the two things. Evasion successful. But yeah, I'm just annoyed because this is basically save scumming the mechanic. Oh, you don't want to deal with Reapers? Save scum. Because, again, it would be one thing if you could just activate, <laughs> like investigate, or enter orbit by clicking space bar while you're over it. No, you have to move the goddamn mouse. Oh, by the way, you have to move the ship with the goddamn mouse. It's poorly designed. I hate it. Especially because instead of having like, oh, you can only scan four times before the Reapers come. No, that's not it. It's literally like, oh, you can only scan two times before Reapers come. That's not fun. Especially when so many things are hard to find. Multiple planets that can only be scanned individually. You have to save scum. To the point that even if you got lucky, even if you got lucky, and... No, that's not the Hades Nexus, damn. Wait. Hmm. I 
I'm gonna check out the Ninma cluster again, just to be safe. Yeah, it just, it makes no sense. But, and I just, I hate this mechanic so freaking much. It's not fun to float around scanning. Going low. Information, come to me. Evasion successful. And since I saved there anyway, let's go over here, scan things. Apparently the Reapers don't care about over here. But yeah, there's nothing to scan here. Blake. And I'll just reload. That's what it's all about. It's not like, if it, like anything happens. It's not like, oh, they have, like, minor ships that are super fast and go find you. Bleh. And now I guess we'll investigate the Nimbus Cluster a bit. Maybe head back to the Citadel to drop off some of these fetch quests, because that's what they fucking are. In fact, while we're here, this is the distress signal thingy. Well, I can't, yeah, investigate the Asari colony. I will go ahead, scan everything, go there, do that. And then we'll end off by... Damn right, you better fucking stop. How much fuel do I have? Super annoying that I have to leave the place to find if I have everything. Scan everything. Intact Reaper weapon. Well, that's not good. Twenty-five! Why so much fuel? But I was here. All right, at least we know there's just a shit ton of fuel here. Oh, but by the way, you better not scan it too much or else it's all going to fucking... You won't be able to get it anyway until you do a mission to the Reapers bugger off. It's annoying. Again, I can only scan like two times before the Reapers come. And then the game is just like, oh, it's your fault. You brought the Reapers down upon you. It's just like, game? You made it literally impossible to get everything in this single run? Even if you literally ration your fucking bullshit? I hate it. It's stupid. It's one of the dumbest things. And this is the superior version of the space planet scanning, go on planet stuff? No. This is bad. Is there literally nothing here? I found something. Yeah, there's like one thing. Evasion successful. This is just shit. It's not fun. It's like, no wonder, like, one of the highest rated things on Nexus was, hey, this entire function, would you just, like, not want to deal with it? And apparently, like, everybody agreed, hey, we don't want to deal with this shit. It's just like, why? Fuck it, I'll just fly here. They'll probably give me fuel and nothing else. Why? Why? Why even have a star thing there that you can visit if it just gives fuel? Maybe, once again, oh, maybe there's a mission that goes there. But then why am I able to find it right here, right now? Right this moment? I'm just... I am incensed 
with rage at this mechanic that apparently people are like, oh yeah, this is far superior to what things were before. This is an improvement? This is an improvement? Are you shitting me? Sure, scanning took time, and it was resource management, so it wasn't the greatest. But at least you were able to do things on your own time. Here it's like leveraging stupid shit. I hate it. It's garbage. Garbo. If the Reapers weren't there, it would be a better system, sure, but the Reapers are there to, like, counteract the system. Except for when they're not, but when the Reapers aren't coming to eat your giblets, they're like, oh yeah, now the Reapers will no longer be there, and just like, well, what's the fucking point? What's the fuck is the reason about anything? It's like, it's not even a challenge thing, because it's not a puzzle. We'll go ahead, investigate the sorry bibbity boo Because why not? Hey, we have Caden on. Come along, Caden. Why not? You can have that. And you can have that. Why not? You can have whatever you like. I don't care about this weapon. Go crazy. I have ten shifts. Ha ha ha. Synthetics explode when destroyed, dealing lots of stuff in a four meter radius, or increases recharge speed. My recharge speed is already nuts off nuts. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's see. Power concussive shot with properties of active ammo power, enabling it to burn, freeze, disrupt, or warp. Hmm. Increase damage to organics by 100% over 10 seconds. Increase force. Hmm. Eh, just base. Let's baseline it. Alliance officer, and he already has a bunch of stuff uh, uh, upgraded. Nice. Increase squad mate tech and stuff, or recharge speed of squad shields. Fuck yeah, you are best teammate. Barrier, Reeve. Let's see. Power duration, or impact duration. Damage, or recharge speed. And let's take a look at overload. Upgrade that. Hit one additional, increase damage, initial damage. Incapacitate weaker organic enemies for a short duration, or increase recharge speed. Yeah, go ahead and read recharge speed. Barrier. Let's upgrade that to... Let's go. Do you have any information on the mission, Lear? Sorry, High Command hid a lot from us. Of course they did. Really? Arda Yakshi? Like Morin? No. These Arda Yakshi lived in the monastery so they wouldn't or couldn't harm anyone. However, they're still powerful biotics and potentially very dangerous. That's why High Command sent commandos to investigate the monastery's distress signal. And then they didn't Magnified come back. Biotics, eh? Great. What's our strategy? Be nice. There was a chance the Arda Yakshi could break loose. The commandos were to purge the monastery. That doesn't sound good. Purge. You mean destroy. Kill. They eradicate. Genocide. With them. Yes. Is this really necessary? Morinth was dangerous, but are the Ardat Yakshi this big of a threat? Morinth was just hitting her stride. Ardat Yakshi who kill leave behind astronomical body counts. That's why High Command won't rest until this place is destroyed. They'd never risk a single Ardat Yakshi getting loose. We don't know that. Don't assume anything. Maybe the Arda Yakshi sent out the distress call. If the Asari want us to destroy this place, I need to know what happened. Agreed. Once we give a report to High Command, goody goody. We'll stop then again, I think you'd here. be a bit more 
lenient towards them because if I read correctly on things, pure-blooded Asari are more likely to become Ardat Yakshi because genetic stagnancy. My visor's IR says this shuttle's warm. Recent visitor. Maybe Samara. Because again, she dealt with Morinth. Aw, oh, fuck. My ammo went super down on my sniper. Sadness. Uh, did I not put something on it right? Meh. Oh well. I'll have to look into things. No elevator or power. Don't fall and die. Why the horror movie? Listen. There's a Banshees. A reminder, students are not allowed to visit each other's quarters or to meet in the rooms unsupervised by staff. Students are also forbidden from extranet communication without approval by senior staff members. There are no exceptions to these rules. First offenders will have their free time revoked for a month. Further violations will be met with confinement. Our monastery is our shelter. For it to remain that way, we must make sacrifices. If we do this, I have faith we can continue to enjoy order and peace. Concerning bodies are going that way, I feel like we need to go that way. But I'm going to save. But yeah, maybe Samara came this way. I heard something. I um tripped. Lol. Hmm, Intel. Might be an upgrade thingy. Because the question mark things typically lead to upgrades. Horrifying. To our staff and students attached to our daily schedule, please note the wake-up time has been moved forward 15 minutes. Flow wardens can download short lists later this week. Please see Major at Galay or myself if you have any questions or concerns. Superintendent Jethra, wake up, breakfast, morning meditation, stu study period, chores, midday meal, classes, study period, supper, evening meditation, free period, curfew. Oh, I wish I could activate that. Give me my. Did I just not put my spare ammo on? Reapers, looks like we know why the commando teams went silent. This monastery is out of the way. What do the Reapers want with Arda Yakshi? Banshees. Anything useful? A floor plan marked with the nap point location of a bomb. It's inside the Great Hall. We're taking it out. No surprise, no gun to Chunka, but the commandos want this place gone pretty badly. Seems drastic. Are they or not? Evacuating this place would have saved a lot of lives. If there's no survivors, let's get to the Great Hall and set off that bomb. This world is so pretty, too. Ah, come on, you put an active computer all this way and it does nothing? Let me through! What are we going to find down there? That Warren's cut sing. Very good. Samara. I almost didn't hear you. Samara. It has been some time, Shepard. You are a most welcome sight. The corruption here runs deep. What brings the Justicar out here? My daughters have lived here for centuries, Garrus. I've come for them. To kill or to save? Unfortunately, the Reapers had already infested this place by the time I arrived. 
Are your children a threat? You met me hunting down your other Arda Yakshi daughter. Are these ones just as dangerous? Faler and Rila have followed the monastery's rules ever since they arrived. They've shown no inclination toward violence. And you're here to save them? They are my responsibility. And it's one that cannot be abandoned, even as our galaxy crumbles. We'll help search. Let's go together. Maybe your daughters can tell us why the Reapers hit this place. I suspect they will have much to tell us. It has been centuries since I last saw them. Banshees. We're out of time. We'll meet again. I will draw these creatures off. Don't die. Wait. Let's go. I've already had two Mass Effect 2 characters die on me. I don't want more. My name is Tashia Pori. I'm wounded. Might as well listen. What if I can actually deliver that? Maybe I can activate it again to take? Nope. Just wanted to make sure. This place is enormous. There must have been thousands of people living here. I haven't seen any survivors. Me neither. And I bet most of them were civilians. Yeah, most of them were Ardat Yakshi students or keepers of the students. The echo is horrifying. What is that? Banshee! Of course they can teleport. Get out of here, cannibals. I wonder what species they're based on. Maybe super duper deformed Krogan, but the faces don't match. Then again, when do the faces on any of these fucking things match? Damn it, I missed. Burn! Damn it. At least now we know why they're called cannibals. So this is where we're meant to find the Banshees. That definitely means that the Bryson Leviathan thing is 100% DLC. Because we ran into Banshees there. And the Rachni. Granted, I knew that the Banshees were Asari and not the Rachni. Kill. Kill now. Shoot now! Game! Game! <laughs> you could have shot. You came! As soon as I was able. Shepard, this is Faler, my youngest. She and her sister Rila are Ardat Yakshi. They have. Mother, been... They have Rila! They've turned her into a banshee, what? haven't they? I saw some of those creatures take her into the Great Hall. I've been trying to get there. What are the Reapers doing here? Harvesting us. They're turning us into... into those... monsters. Please, you can't let that happen to Rila. We won't. We need to find Rila fast. The bomb we're looking for is in the Great Hall. A bomb? But didn't you come to rescue people? The commandos didn't. We'll try, but we can't leave this place standing, Falaire. You sound like the commandos. They didn't stop to help anyone. Falaire? I'm sorry. I can understand. Everything must be very emotional for you. Falaire! What? Oh. 
the Great Hall. She's looking for Rila. You keep up with her. We'll look for any other survivors. Disarm the bomb. We'll meet you there. At least. Please be swift. Well, maybe not disarm the bomb, but like make sure that it doesn't go off prematurely. Let's see. That elevator's broken. I'll have to take the long route. Could you learn to float down off a rail like that? <laughs> well, not in the next ten minutes. Jesus. Rumors. Very nuts. Fire! I said fire! Fire! Game. Do as I command him. Four. What? Horrifying sounds. me down there, then I will check out the other side first. Hopefully the game doesn't go through another wave of Hark, thou will not get ammo. I had the new girl put in a holding cell. The Justicar who brought her to us, Justicar for us, said she had trouble convincing the prisoner coming to the monastery was necessary. This may explain why the girl lashed out at her guard. She's lucky Four wasn't here for that. The Justicar's code would have demanded an execution. I'll question some of the Justicars on the level of coercion Four is permitted to use by the code. This isn't the first time her capture has arrived here terrified out of their wits, but I, it will certainly be the last. Jethra. I looked over these year's candidates for supervised visits to Thessia. I'm approved at least uh, everyone but Yanis. She's impulsive, cunning, and worst of all, romantic. Find me a worse combination to let outside our walls. I find it suspicious she was even nominated. Let's look into that and pray it's not Yanis manipulating another infatuation. It takes a great deal of time and effort to persuade Thessia's government to let our students visit their own homeworld. Unless Yanis matures, she won't be among them. Oh yeah, that's why. I will definitely put on more capacity over more damage. Because it is a lot of damage, but we don't need that much more damage. I'm gonna find an ammo to pick up and see if that will fix it. Fix it. Here, ammo. Did I pick up all the goddamn ammo on my way in? Hatred. Of course all the ammo disappears when I need it. Nah, screw it. I'll keep on keeping on. There we go. Where all these bastards come from? Get out of here. You might warp my vision. You can't warp my... They can take care of that cannibal. Good job. Save before go, save before go, because fear controls me. I'll definitely have to go about my own way. 
Another dead commando. Was she holding off Reapers, or was she left behind? I hope it's the former. That's a bad place to die. Name me a good one, Kate. Ah, uh, how about holding off, uh, holding a nuke so that, uh, a Krogan cloning facility can go boom? Not the worst way to go. Well, I hope nothing bad happens. Because bad things happening would be bad. Hopefully. There's either a body or there. She's dead, isn't she? The second one's dead. There's our bomb. And Hilaire. Rila, wake up! Valea, Rila cannot hear us. Look, she's still alive. No, she isn't. Oh, she is? Rila's not one of them yet. She can't be. She just needs to wake up. Rila? Rila, can you hear me? Don't go crazy. <gasps> Is anybody going to do anything? Why did she do that? Because they've begun to turn her into one of the Reaper's creatures. I'm sorry. We set off that bomb? Not without a detonator. Commandos would have had one. We've got to find it. Of course. Later. Leave the boy alone. Nope, none for you. Last one down. For now, let's get back to that bomb. Let me guess, we're gonna have to have a boss fight. the detonator? Why? Move! No! Rila! I love you. Rila! Can we just knock her out and take her? Why do they move like that? <laughs> Why were you fighting that entire time? I don't think not your slaves. I don't think she would have been turned into a monster if wound up with an arm through her stomach.
And then there was one. You know, if that was supposed to blow up the entire place, it kind of failed. Rila, it wasn't even time to say goodbye. Few can break the Reaper's hold. Rila's will was extraordinary, as was her love for you. We left her to die. Rila made her choice. And it has reminded me of what is truly important. Why I swore I'd lay down my life. What is that? Valer, the code demands an Ardat Yakshi cannot live outside a monastery that no longer exists. What are you doing? I'm sorry, Shepard. By the Justicar's code, there is only one way to save Valer. Mother, no! My daughters. Why? You were all so much. No. Let go. What are you doing? Fulfilling the code. Your code is wrong. Are you throwing your life away. I won't kill my last daughter. Then you live. Won't have to. Valer. I'll stay here, home, no matter what's become of it. Without a proper monastery, I could have left any time. I don't need a building to honor my own code. And if the Reapers return, they won't take me alive. I promise. Jesus they Christ, I almost lost another one. To stay. I almost they lost are. another. And they're all from Mass Effect 2! So far, the only one that, no, even Kasumi got a death. All of Once this war is over, and if I am able. Every I last one of the Mass Effect 2 characters has a, has a death short. scare. You could stay, Samara. I'd understand if you wanted to help Falaire rebuild a home here. It must wait now that I can help oppose the Reapers. I'll speak with Falaire, then join your forces. If you'll have me, of course. Of course. I'd be honored. The honor is mine, my friend. Everything's taken care of down here. Bring in the shuttle. Right, Commander. I'll just follow the smoke. How many of the Mass Effect 2 characters are going to be thrown into damnable danger? I read your report, Commander. We had no idea the situation had deteriorated so quickly. That's why I set off the bomb. There were no Ardat Yakshi left. May the Ardat Yakshi find rest. What the Reapers did to them was monstrous. I had another team of commandos headed to the monastery who I can now formally transfer to Admiral Hackett's command. Huzzah! They'll serve you loyally, Commander. Farewell. Hell yeah, look at all that. Look at all that. Look at my progress. Ooh, fucking yeah. All right, I'll head down to crew. Check out like the. Well, Merchant told me that Cerberus started out as an Alliance Black Ops. Yep. Black Ops always go bad. If you Commander, have Chief Engineer Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. Okie doke. Jesus Christ, visiting the Citadel, Javik. Commander, I find this messaging system to be outdated and clumsy. I assume Specialist Trainer was joking when she said I had to type letters to form words. I want to visit the Citadel the next time we travel there. In my lifetime, it had been captured by the Reapers. If you would like to join me, I will be in the area where the embassies are located. All right. Getting away from work. Shepard, I need an excuse to tear myself away from these monitors. Come see me the next time we dock at the Citadel. Asari squad ready. Commander Shepard, as of an hour ago, Asari High Command has assigned my squad to support you. We will ride within the second fleet until it's time to deploy. If you'll allow me a personal note, I knew a few of the commandos who went down to the monastery. Nothing will bring them back, but hearing that the place went up in smoke is only good news I've heard in weeks. Headed to the front lines. Shepard, I finished my business on Lysus. I would offer to travel once again with you on the Normandy, but the code dictates I join to fight where it must tire. While you do your essential work, I will do the best to hold in line. Tie break. 
Garrus Shepard. I thought next time we're at the Citadel, I might take a break. Can't wait fight a war without a little R&R &R once in a while. I'll be hanging around C-Sec near the shuttles if you're interested. Good. Caden Linko. Hey, Shepard. I don't know about you, but I could use some little breather. Next time we're on the Citadel, let me buy you dinner. Found something. Miranda. Shepard, I discovered <laughs> a few things about my sister. It's bad, there, but there's something else going on. I'm back at the Citadel. I'll find a place to meet you. My project. Shepard, I've been working on something I'd like to show you. Can we meet in my quarters? Everybody wants a piece of my ass. Look at that galaxy map. Do you know how many strategy games are built from that interface? You play strategy games? A few. Most are too flashy, though. I prefer chess. I have a set made from rose quartz and hematite back home. I like the feel of something solid in my hands. Well. Alright, we'll go talk to Anderson. Not And yeah, no. No, not Anderson. So, Gabby, have you seen Edie's new body? Oh, when did <laughs> this come from? I just mean, it's an amazing work of engineering. Commander, good news on the installation of that thermal pipe you got us. I went right, brilliant. Much better than we expected. Yay! I told you it would. It gets better. While interfacing through our ESO capacitors, our Miss Daniels here had an epiphany. I wouldn't go that far. She and Donnelly deduced some theoretical improvements to our capacitor design. Edie and I ran with it and documented our conclusions. Our core is too compact to apply our theories, but it could help the Crucible engineers. Give the word and they'll send the plans their way. Do it. Aye, aye. Huzzah! Well done, everyone. All right, we'll talk to our battle zone correspondent. The Ardot Yakshi? No. I think that story would be perfect for you. The hidden dark side of the most beautiful race in the galaxy. Too horrific. We have a huge Asari audience. If I do that story, I could lose them. That seems a bit like pandering. <laughs> Ever seen how fast an e-democracy can abandon its allies? No. If I do my job, you won't. Has Elenko had media training? He just gave me the steady stare during our interview. <laughs> All right, next we'll head up so we can look at any upgrades. Maybe talk to Garrus while well, Garrus wants to talk on the Citadel. So I guess it doesn't really matter. I find using my biotics to toss someone across the room is a decent attention grabber. Yes, but it's also a why can't I just listen? Well, you can handle yourself in a fight now, Liara. I mean, not that your biotics weren't impressive the first time we met. I have had my fair share of opportunities to use them these past few years. Well, Store I'll discount bonus. In one piece. Sure. Sounds like you have a few stories to tell. Now that basically means I can buy from this place a of anything. Prothean. A living, breathing Prothean right below me. He's not what I expected. Me neither. He was a little cold when I tried to talk. I understand the shock of waking and up And finally again. the His monitors are gone, back to being good. But a Prothean, Shepard. There's so much he could tell us. Alright, so everyone wants to talk to me on the Citadel. Brrr, I guess I'll go to the Citadel. Mentioned something about you two having some fun next time you're on the Citadel. And don't get into trouble. We'll go to the Citadel and then I'll decide what to do next. Like, obviously, we're not going to do anything just yet. Because there's way... We've been going way too long. Way, way, way too long. What was the other one? I'll quickly check the relay just to be like, What's that one again? Because I'm losing my goddamn mind. Ex-Cerberus Scientists. Ah, yes. Personal apartment. Lol. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. D 
Do you need ground transport? Take me to the embassy. I need to get to the embassies. Navigation is becoming increasingly difficult due to the number of refugee ships in the docking area. <laughs> That's an interesting thing to hear. Elysium was attacked, but Alliance... But I, 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 I. And this place has been attacked twice. Hell of a view, isn't it? During our war, this place became a myth to my people. A dream glimpsed only in the memory shards. The citadel was both the heart of our civilization and its demise. Almost was for us too. The Reapers hit here first, didn't they? No one I knew had ever seen the citadel. To be here now, I don't know what to think. It's a victory. It might not seem like much. But a Prothean is standing on the Citadel, alive. That's a victory in itself. Perhaps. When things were at their darkest, we used to tell stories, imagining the wonders of this place. The seat of our empire. The power to sway worlds. The galaxy belonged to us. Nowadays, a lot of races have embassies here. It's true, then. You share power with the rest? It's not perfect, but it's kept the peace. Most of the time. <laughs> the Hanar. Pardon me. This one has been listening. This one suspects you are a Prothean. <laughs> Just gonna steal memories. Hey, Hanar. I remember your kind when you were still minnows in the ocean. This one is unworthy. This one has seen the face of an Enkindler. They consider your kind to be their gods. A pity we did not teach them to speak better. <laughs> You're really a Prothean? I am. But... If you lost the last war, what hope do we have? For many, there may be no hope. The Reapers killed trillions in my cycle. The odds of being... Uh, I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> But you are still alive now. That <laughs> alone is a miracle. And you still have the power to fight. My people knew your kind when you were young. Turian, Asari, Hana. There was potential in all of you. Now you must seize that potential and become the weapon you are meant to be. The weapon that tells the Reapers we are not machines. We are alive and we will fight back. Thank you. That meant a lot. Commander Shepard, it must be an honor to have a Prothean fighting alongside you. He's a good guy. He's starting to learn his way around. Javik is one of the best soldiers I've ever seen. The Commander is a capable warrior as well. For a human who once lived in caves. <laughs> Thank you, Commander. I have enjoyed my time here, walking among the young. I will see you back on the Normandy. Nice that he got to gave a speech. You'd think that would give more reputation, you know. A goddamn guy like that coming out here and being like, hey. <laughs> like an entire goddamn Prothean giving a speech on the Citadel and that's all it's worth. I hoped you'd come. I won't remain here much longer. What are you doing on the Citadel, Samara? I suppose I came to say goodbye. Like you're gonna Alara die? Is safe. And Rila is at rest. I felt the need to speak to you before heading to battle. Please don't flirt. I want you to know there is no one else I'd rather see leading us in our last hours. It's an honor. We'll make the galaxy proud. The largest fleet in history is already on our side. It is impressive. Most would have deemed such an alliance impossible. Well, we're in impossible but times. Shepherd, be sure to assess your force's strengths and weaknesses before setting out. Hopefully we can do that. Falaire. Will Falaire be all right in the monastery? Or what's left of it? We spoke for some time. It won't be easy. But if there is a way to survive, Falaire will find it. It was... Good to see her again. 
Perhaps it's unseemly for a Jessica to dwell so much on her family. Glad you still have one. I'm just happy things worked out. I was fortunate that Falaer saw things so clearly. And it would have turned out quite differently without your intervention. Thank you. No problem. The Reapers. You know, I never asked you if your code has anything useful on fighting Reapers. Treat them as any other enemy. Show no quarter, mercy, or weakness. The only difference is the scale of our foe. The code is too strict to account for such small discrepancies. But what do you think? Is that how you see it, too? You yourself killed a Reaper on the Citadel, and then another on Tachanka. Well, that was I more Kalaros. Follow such bravery. Justicars in war. What are the other Justicars doing for the war? Most have made it home. They will attempt to hold Thessia. With the odds we face, it's possible our order will no longer exist after this war. There's that few of you? Our numbers were never great. We must prepare to sacrifice ourselves, if that is what's required. That seems bleak. Was being a Justicar worth it if that's how it all ends? The Justicars were formed to bring order to a world that laughs at the notion. The role is solitary. Its demands are lonely and uncompromising, often to the point of pain. But following the code left me with no regrets. Take that for what you will. Well, good luck. Good luck out there, Samara. You as well. I don't know if you believe in such things. But goddess, go with you, Shepard. We'll both be tested in fire soon enough. Yay, more Paragon. I'll quickly check the thingy thing. I should probably check the map just to make sure that I'm not missing anyone to talk to. Oh, I can access this one? Message terminal. Location of Din Corlock. Oh, yeah, that. Look, uh, is unknown. Biometric analysis does not detect him in any public location at this time. His last known position was in an office suite near the human embassy. Good to see you're all right, Shepard. Oh, this is what this Marin. is. I What's didn't know. On? Couldn't meet in person. The Citadel is too dangerous right now. I heard about the attempted coup. Yeah. With Kai Lang's help, Udina nearly seized control. Kai Lang? That slippery bastard's still alive? That's what Anderson said. alive. And right in the middle of all this. Killed that Thane. That complicates things. I'll be on my guard. Look, I don't have much time. But I learned what happened to my sister. Where is she? She became an Ardot Yakshi. yet. But my father was definitely responsible. If he's done anything to her, I'll kill him. Do it anyway. Miranda. Shepard, listen. I'm being hunted by Cerberus assassins. A lot of them. I need to stay out of sight. What? Why? I heard a rumor. Maybe more that my father is working on something for the elusive man. Uh, of course he is. Something big. Ties to Cerberus. Why would your father be working with the elusive man? Especially now. My father is ruthless about preserving his legacy. Legacy? He has an obsession with making his mark in history, ensuring his dynasty lasts forever. And you think the elusive man made him an offer? Exactly. He has to be stopped. Whatever's going on with your father can't be good. We have to figure this out. I agree, but I need to do this myself. It's time I stopped running from him. You sure? Yes. I can't think straight until I know Ari is safe. Be careful. I can't promise that, Shepard. Could you? Be safe as possible. No. I couldn't. Hmm. Let's see. But what is this? Is this a shotgun? Assault shotgun. Light machine gun. The Cerberus modified Matok. Uh, 
I've been going good for now, so I don't need to buy anything. Maybe. Let's check map. Embassy guard and Commander Bailey. Embassy guard. This is a problem, boss. Cerberus has changed their ciphers, and our code breakers aren't getting anywhere. I've got our best teams working in shifts on it. But ensuring Citadel systems integrity is just gonna take time. Guess I'll check out Bailey, see if he has anything to say. Hey, Shepard. I have to admit, the place feels safer with you here. Huzzah! Everyone's walking around in a daze. Or in my case, limping. <laughs> limping. And I wonder if we'll ever be the same. These are dark days for all of us. Good luck, baby. You got your work cut out for you. You and me both. <laughs> I love that. It's just like, in my case, limping. <laughs> So yeah, I need to find, at least if that is the embassy guard in question. Was the Bolas ambassador here earlier? Yes, he was, Commander. I need in. Spectre business. I'll unlock the office when you're ready. I mean, while I'm here, I might as well. I think I shall be able to cover most Paragon-related issues. Is that a broken screen? Something wonky with it. Play entry one. you were actually doing some good in the galaxy before. Has that changed? How many colonies would be gone if we hadn't taken action against the Collectors? <sighs> Too many. But fighting the Alliance... ...must continue in order to end the war. How? We understand it took a lot for you to reach out to Cerberus, Ambassador Korlak. We ask that you trust us a little longer. <sighs> you people are monsters! Ambassador, please. Hundreds dead. Udina betraying the Council. I should have cut ties with you ages ago. And what will that accomplish now? The risks you took by passing information to Cerberus, it left you in an interesting position. If you sever contact, we can't protect you from the consequences. I don't. I have no time for this. We'll speak again. Have a good day, Ambassador Korlak. And what's entry three have to say? The Turians think I'm still working for Cerberus. They've put a price on my head. I can't go to CSEC, but Cerberus has plans. An entire Turian colony rests on my life. If anyone finds this, I hid a tracking receiver in the office suite beside the human embassies. He doesn't seem like that bad a guy in the end. What are you? But how was he shot in here? Damn, Cerberus has them everywhere nowadays. You're gonna go on about them all night. Just get the car up here quick. Little bastard's even heavier than he looks. So do they take the body or do they knock him down? And Zaid. What's Zaid doing here? Well, I guess doing bounty work. But he said to put a receiver. Ah, there we are. Hopefully I'll be able to talk Zeed out of whatever madness is going on. Unless he's there to protect the boy. But the ambassador's probably dead. How long till we killed Korlak? Once the credits go through. Was because ah. you weren't interested in the money. I'm not. Because Korlak worked for Cerberus? What'd they do to you? None of your goddamn business. He waking up. Saeed! This is Commander Shepard. Can you hear me? <sighs> yes. Yes, I can hear you. Tell Zaid to betray Tell him. Tell where you are. Uh, we're still near the Presidium. c will check 
selkish arms when they realize I'm missing. They won't give a damn when they realize you sold them out to Cerberus. Wait. Cerberus is planning to attack a colony that... Stay calm. Help's coming. Hope I can talk the boy down. Saeed used to work for Cerberus. Ask him why he's here. Why? Why go after your old employer, Zaid? Now you know my name all of a sudden. Good question. Wait, wrong way. This way. I don't have to walk through. Of course. P O R. Weshra, I have an audio log for you. For me? Where did this come? Oh no. Oh, Tasha. Thank you for bringing this back. At least I know what happened. But they're near C sex, they said. Ambassador is in the apartments. Here I thought they said near CSEC. Please aid to see the light of day. And don't kill the boy. Wrong door. He needs you alive to stop Cerberus. Cerberus is after a Turian colony. Kill me, and they get it. Drop my name. Shepard's investigating. He's a recent acquaintance. How recent? Very. Very. <laughs> Shit. All right, I'm listening. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> How recent? Very. <laughs> hey, Zed. Been a while, Zaid. Shepard. Glad I wasn't just making an ass of myself over a hunch. Undisciplined bastards. This is what I get for signing up at the last minute. Where's Korlak? I'm here, Commander. I... You saved my life. I almost died because the Turians thought I was still with Cerberus. Are you injured? Did those mercs hurt you? I'm fine. They wanted me alive until the fees were delivered for my capture. They didn't care about what I had to say. You kept mentioning a colony in your message. Information on a Turian planet's defense system. They'll strike soon. But if I tell you which planet they're attacking, Cerberus will know I turned traitor. We can protect you. Turn, you already betrayed your own people. We saved your life. Tell us what planet you put in danger. I can offer a bargain. The Volus bombing fleet. In tactical terms, it's worth far more than a colony. Or you could give us both. You can warn the Turians there'll be an attack, Commander. That should be general enough to ward off suspicion. You're better than this. You tried to do the right thing before. It failed because you trusted the wrong people. Trust now us. Now here's your chance to make up for it. You're giving us Vola support, and you're going to help us make Cerberus pay for using you. I can't. You can. Waste of everyone's time trying to appeal to a Volus's better nature, Shepard. Aphis. The colony's name is Aphis. Cerberus wants its shipyards. And the bombing fleet? Yes, it's yours, Commander. Thank you, Ambassador. I'll speak with Citadel Security about this... incident. You have my thanks. And you have mine. 
Took him long enough to spit that out. <laughs> Zaid, what are you doing here? Later. C6 on their way. Won't be too pleased with the mess we left them. Catch up with me at the docks if you like. Nice to see the Z's here. Caden's here, Liara. Bank has a scientist. I got lots of Paragon. Lots and lots of juicy Paragon. Then again, I don't really think I need Paragon. I need more reputation. Yo, scientist. I think I know which project you mean. And I've got a Hesperia period statue in Bay D24. Commander Shepard, that's excellent news. I'll have it sent to that project right away. Thank you so much for your help. No problem. Welcome to Kanala Exports. We appreciate your visit. Welcome to Elkos Combine Arsenal Supplies. Thank you. Come again. I wonder if that Volus ambassador was like the same ambassador. Let's go find Caden. Go find Liara. Talk to everybody. Save before talking just in case he's like, fuck me, Shepard. Fuck me, Jerry. Surprise this place can still get supplies for a menu like this. Maybe it's better if we don't ask how or where. I'm glad we're taking the time to do this. I could use a sanity check. That's always important. Things have been pretty crazy. You know, my life flashed in front of my eyes on Mars. And there weren't enough moments like this with people I care about. Glad we're getting to talk. Yeah. I think it's a good time for us to have a heart to heart. What are you drinking? <laughs> If you're trying to butter me up, it might take a nice steak sandwich, too. So? Shot of whiskey and a good old Canadian lager. Think they have it? More likely to have Paterian shard wine. At my parents' place in Vancouver, <laughs> drank more than a few beers on their balcony looking over English Bay. Yeah. Beautiful view. You know what, though? I feel good about our chances. Yeah. 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 Let's me sleep better at night. You're not sleeping, Caden? Maybe a little restless. It's just you plan a career, you focus, and then suddenly the world's ending and it's too late to uh to find someone. Someone? We've been friends a long time, Shepard. Have you ever known me to be with anyone? I guess I'm just choosy or patient or I don't know. Maybe what I've never found, what I want is something deeper with someone that I already care about. <sighs> That's what I want. What do you want? Let's just keep it friendly. Sorry to turn you down, mate. I'm sorry, Caden, but we should just keep it professional. Sure thing. No problem. I, I it's understand. Just, I have Tally. You weren't but, there for that. <laughs> okay, look. I just want you to know that I consider you a friend. Okay? A good one. And you're a good yeah, one, too. Why less awkward in my mind. <laughs> Mostly, I guess, I just wanted you to know that I admire you as a commander, and I value your friendship. The feeling's you're my mutual. brother, Caden. I'm glad to be part of the crew. What'd you call it? A uh, sanity check? Mm. Sanity check. I swear, if you give me a renegade, I'll punch you. <laughs> All right, and that seems to be it. And I just go talk to Liara, probably sidestep more flirtation, because that's all anybody knows how to do on this goddamn place. At least they, d <laughs> personally, they shouldn't put things like that. It's like, I think sure we just want a pro professional in the renegade slot. I love Even if it doesn't give seeing. renegade points. It reminds me of where I grew up. Including the smoke. Where's that? Armali, back on Thessia. My mother and I lived beside a park. I spent hours there. Doing what? <laughs> Killing little people. Reading, exploring. Getting in trouble digging for ruins in the grass. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding. 
I was very young. Kids are cute. Yeah, that's actually pretty cute. No one else thought it was funny. Oh, the lecture my mother gave me. But she did buy me my first history book the next day. <laughs> I miss her, Shepard. Tell me more about her. What was she like? She was confident. You know, before she kind. She loved nuts. to wear yellow. I got thought she was the most entrapped by Saren. You'll be okay, Liara. Maybe you're right. Thank you, Shepard. I feel better. I wish we could spend more time together like this. Just friends. I'd like that a lot. And it'd be nice. And who knows? Maybe you'll settle down after this. You don't really see me going into civilian life, do you? No. But I guess that's one more reason we should keep in touch. Someone to share a few secrets with now and then? You got it. It's like laying up all these layups. Hey, would you like to go have a, a f relationship? And the brain is just like, game, for the love of God. I just want to see Tally again. <laughs> I miss my wife, Tails. <laughs> all right, let's take a quick look at all of the things. There's a soldier and Garrus at the dock. Nothing in Huarta, so I guess I can't do anything there yet. Purgatory. Doesn't seem to be anything. And then docks, so we'll head to the docks and then head to the loading. And then I think everything should be fine and we'll be ready to end. Take me to the Holding area. Don't think I've seen that loading screen before. Say before we meet up, everyone. You're new. All right, let's see. Tactus and cargo B. Zed and Cargo C, so six and seven. Tactus. I recognize you. You're Commander Shepard. And who are you? And you must be Tactus. Heard the refugees consider you their leader. Ah. Yes. Someone needs to sort out this mess. CSEC has tightened access to the Citadel, and we've got desperate people down here with no place to go. I also hear you need basic medical supplies. Dr. Shakwa spoke of a mutually beneficial trade. I tried to be clear. In my experience, the Alliance looks out for their own. Trust is a hard thing to come by these days. Understandable. I know you need our military supplies, but they're worth far more than your basic meds. Her offer wasn't satisfactory. Do the right thing. Your people need our supplies, and my people need every edge we can get. Your combat-grade meds will make a difference, and our mission may just save everyone. Now is not the time for pettiness or mistrust. With our day-to-day -day worries, it's easy to forget we are all in this together. I'll have my people contact yours. You'll have your supplies as soon as possible. And hopefully you'll have yours as well. Hey. Let's see, Big Rowan. Beep. James and Zed. <laughs> James, what you doing here? James. Getting a tattoo? <laughs> Commander, what brings you down here? Mercenary. I was about to ask you that. Well, after our little chat, I made up my mind. I'm going to join the N7 program. Neat. And you're celebrating by getting a tattoo? <laughs> sort of. See, there's no official channels to go through right now. So, I guess this is my way of making it official. <laughs> Technically, I'm just an N7 recruit, but, you know, I figure with you as my training officer, how could I fail? Welcome to right? the program. <laughs> well, they wouldn't ask you if they didn't think you could handle it. Here's hoping. 
but the real work starts now. Uh-huh. I know it seems like I don't take things seriously, but when I commit to something, I fully commit. Clearly. Hey, I won't let you down. Don't let yourself the down. The only person you need to prove yourself to is the one standing in the mirror every morning. Good point. You know, that's gonna sting for a few days. You gonna be ready for duty? Well, I'm not looking forward to slapping my armor back on, but I'm always ready. Glad to hear it. Ah! Ha! <laughs> Careful! Lol. What the hell are you looking at? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> War asset acquired <laughs> just by talking to him. We have a super duper. Wondered if you'd show up, Shepard. Figured you'd be too busy recruiting goddamn armies for this war you're in charge. I love that they I kept it like this. Help. I'll bet. I've seen <laughs> Zaid <laughs> only talks to us in free camera. See if some old contacts of mine are still around. Can't promise you anything, but if enough of them are still breathing, I can lend a hand. Neat. Freaking hilarious. <laughs> and then he teleported away. So all I had to do was go down there to talk to him. And then I guess... Rings of a loon, Vola... What about that one? Recover them from Garvug and bring them to him at the Citadel Docking Bay. Oh, that's what that guy is. He's like, oh, but I did go there. I went to that place. I scanned that planet. And it's because he's in the Docking Bay. But, uh, oh yeah, I forgot the main thing I was here looking for. Uh, ciphers, terrain poison, chemical treatment, fossil, leviathan, medical supplies, reaper coat, fragments, shore leave. Hibbledy, bibbledy. Oh, hey. Shepard. Glad you came. What'd you have in mind? Something that doesn't involve fighting reapers. Like Algol? I don't think they've conquered the bar yet. I already scoped it out. But then I thought, if this was my last day alive, I'd actually like to remember it. So? So, I had an idea. Listen, I probably should have staved this off, but at the same time... As much as I want to meet up with Tally again. I want to hang out with you. Where are we going? I'll, I'm sorry, sorry I'll have to turn you down. To. <laughs> Some things never change, do they? Ever have that one thing you always wanted to do before you died, Shepard? Not Too really. Busy trying to live. What's yours? The whole time I worked at CSEC, I'd stare up at the top of the Presidium and say to myself, I want to go up there. But I never did. There were 137 regulations telling me I couldn't. So you got them changed? <laughs> no. Now I just don't give a damn. <laughs> Listen, Garrus. If Tally were... Like, if I was... If it weren't for the fact that Tally's still out there, I'd Figured totally take time you up on to everything. Something stupid just for the hell of it. Might be the last chance we ever get. A little busier than I imagined. How about a dive in the pool? <laughs> uh, you obviously haven't seen Turian swim. It's a lot of flailing and splashing interrupted by occasional bouts of drowning. You're right. I just have to save your ass again. It'd make up for all the times I pulled your ass out of the fire. Novaria, Pharos, Ilos. We've had a hell of a ride, haven't we, Shepard? You're a good friend, Garrus. Times like these, you know who your real friends are. They're not the ones running around looking for an escape route. They're the ones who stand at your side through the worst of it. Who never give up on you. I'm lucky I can say I know someone like that. So am I. You're not going to propose marriage now, are you? <laughs> now, before we head back, there is one thing we're going to settle. Once and for all. I'm not saying you don't know how to handle a gun, just saying some of us know how to make it dance. <laughs> so what are we so gonna be let's shooting? Find out who's really the best shot. <laughs> there are a few people in the galaxy who've seen me in action, Garrus. They seemed impressed. Yeah, but I've actually seen you dance, Shepard. <laughs> no comment. Alright, Vicarian. You're going down. 
And don't worry, I loaded it with practice lugs for when you miss. That was an easy one. Let you build up your confidence. Long range, I wrote the book. Nobody alive can do this, not even Commander Shepard. Give me a tough one. <laughs> I said a tough one. Step aside. <laughs> uh, I'll miss on purpose. <laughs> For the boy. I'm Garrus Vicarian, and this is now my favorite spot on the Citadel. <laughs> it's windy up here. I think I'm going to erect a monument right here. Bronze this gun so the whole galaxy knows. <laughs> that you're the king of the bottle shooters. Glad you're around, Garrus. Never know when the bottles might revolt. <laughs> <laughs> Garrus is the greatest bro. Greatest bro. Dude, here you go. Prothean data drives from Garba. I'll have them brought here. Commander Shepard. Thank you. I'm sure that'll help with it. Uh, any operation we have going. I'm just happy. I had a nice little conversation with the boy. But with that done, I do believe it's time to head back to the Normandy. Dark Chakras wants to talk. Then I shall go talk. And then I'll go up, check on the war assets. See how things do. Check the galactic diddly dee. Hope that you're not gonna flirt with me. The one that I'm disappointed didn't want to flirt with me was Garrus. You always pull through, Commander. We've received the supplies from Tactus. Everything good? Indeed. We've acquired some very useful equipment. As such, I've been able to enhance the effectiveness of our Medijal delivery systems. Yay. I've also collated information that Liara may find of interest. Check with Glyph. Yay. Well, that was an... the data packet. The results are available on the information. Med base surgery. This minor surgery will erase all scarring from your cybernetic implants. If you forego any cosmetic improvements, you will instead get a small boost to your overall health. Health boost. Network terminal. List of recent purchases by Zaid. Armax Arsenal incendiary grenades. Thermal clips. Metagel. M41 Firestorm fuel. Ablative armor plating. Han Kedar field rations. Kassen fabrication weapon repair kit. Mount Milgram triple distilled 45 year old scotch whiskey. Rifle parts. Discontinued Avenger series. Oh, utterly wonderful. I'll go see if Garrus has anything to say. Granted, we had a nice hangout. I just realized I never went to the apartment. Ah, there's later. Ah, maybe he's up joking with Joker. It's nice to hang out with the, the crew. God, it would be so much different if anybody died. Like, even Zaid. I mentioned something about possibly meeting you on the Citadel next time you're there. But I thought we did that. Commander. I thought we did that just then. Hibbly jibbly, fine. I'll go check the war assets, then we'll check the galactic map, and then we'll end things off. Ah, uh, just take a look at that bar. Ah, it's so nice. And with how my reputation bar is, I feel, like, safe to take on just about anything. I might just do, like, the Leviathan and stuff. Like, uh, Omega. They are D DLCs, so who knows. The Crucible Project received some new tech from the Asari government. I'm glad they've decided to help the war effort. Everybody has to fight now, no matter how pretty you are. 
I learned that the hard way. It's nice to actually like have all the characters being characters. Wait, right, what are Garrus? Damn, I could really use something to shoot right now. Glad you talked to Mara down. I never thought I'd see her flinch from her duty. I don't know. On one hand, that code's all she's had to live by for god centuries. Then the galaxy goes to hell. The old rules don't cut anymore. I mean, we're cutting some corners, right? A few. Well, the alliance can always court martial us after we save the galaxy. Again. I mean, that's kind of what they tried to do. I mean, yeah, I blew up a real... I wonder what their excuse for... Because, like, obviously something has to happen if you don't do the Arrival DLC. But I wonder what it is. I'll quickly check the overall map. And then see... Mostly just to see. Any new places? Crescent Nebula, Isma Frontier. Lots of things. Don't know what I'll do next, but I'll decide what mission to do next later. We've been going for far longer than I wanted to just because everything was happening. And a lot of fucking walking around. But yes, still having lots of fun with this game. I think I made a ton of headway. Yeah, we did. God. Everybody died this episode. Morden, Thane, Samara almost did it. So much happened. I do kind of like that Zaid was just very simple. It amuses me. God, I have so many quests. So many fucking quests. Oh, so goddamn many. From the Nimbus cluster. But I thought we already scanned everything there. Well, I give my overall, like, thoughts. Like, we went, we cured the Genophage. What else have we done? Lots. So, so lots. Oh, I guess something new must have popped up. We're here to go do some scanning, I guess. We don't have the fuel, do we? Well, first, let's see if I have the fuel. I have the fuel. Let's go over there. Could have sworn we did. But hibbledy jibbledy. And then we'll just hold on to it while we go do missions next time. Oh, so this place is safe from the Grievers. Huh. Oh, yeah. I think we came here. We scanned about and found nothing. I think I'm lightly enraged. Let's check the journey. Dee 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 dee. Nimbus Cluster. Nope. Recover text from the Nimbus Cluster. Do I just have to go up to anything? But something has to... Oh, wait. We're already here. Yeah, this is where the... Diddly D was. My bad. I am fool and waster of fuel. I forget where the other fuel depot thingy was here. Because I think this was the multiple, super multiple. Unless I'm wrong. I'll save again, just to be safe, because why not? Again. Nimbus Cluster. Like fuel. Yeah, just tons of fuel. And that's it. 
All right, we're going to reload because wasting 750 fuel is criminal. Huh. All right, I guess the game just didn't highlight them. Maybe. I don't know. Did I miss the texts in the goddamn? Let me guess, I missed the text while we were at the monastery. Nyang, nyang. Uh -huh. Why can I highlight that? I guess I can highlight places that will futurely be relevant. That seems a bit weird. But yes, let's see. Find the ex-Cerberus Scientist. So next time what we'll probably do is Cerberus Scientist, maybe the Omega. The Omega base. And then maybe even... Reunite with Tally. I'm just terrified. Terrified that bad things might happen. Mm -hmm. But yes, Mass Effect 3 is a fun, fun time. Minus the scanning and Reaper stuff. That is a stupid decision, and it's badly tweaked. I hate it. But the overall gameplay, though I do kind of miss the lack of minigames. Kind of wish we were the ones firing that big gun at the Cerberus ship, but eh. What do you do? But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching. I've been going too long. If you want more from me, I have two YouTube channels, Neon Icy Wings and Neon Icy Games. The former for edited YouTube content, and the latter for where all these streams eventually end up. Because Twitch doesn't save them for eternity. <laughs> and if you're already one of those people watching one of these here archives, then you can watch me play these games live at twitch.tv slash neonicywings. If you want even more from me, I try to upload art to various sites like Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, and Newgrounds. All of them at Neon Icy Wings, except for Tumblr, which is Icy Wings Art Corner. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>